to all the curlers at sea, let the lighthouse guide you to Fredericton and the points bet invitation. The Sweet 16 wraps up tonight in Fredericton. Magic Mike! Magic Mike! Mike McEwen is looking to rekindle that magic, making a switch, now playing out of Ontario and joining a couple of prior champions. Tonight, they face off against a provincial rival. John Epping has tweaked his lineup too. A reunion with a former teammate. Can Epping excel on the East Coast? This week it is all about the money. McEwen, Epping, the points bet invitational continues. And so come on in to Willie O'Ree Place on this uh, Thursday evening as we wrap up uh, men's play, the Sweet 16. We did that for the women earlier today. We had already known four from yesterday, and today this was an upset from Moose John, number 10 seat Penny Barker, Holly Duncan, number seven Woodstock. Duncan missed her last two, and that left the door open, and Barker went right through, put three on the board to pick up the 10-9 win elsewhere. Casey Scheidegger, she's not here. Christy Moore filling in. Wins over Kerry Galusha. Caitlin Laws had her hands full with the reigning Canadian Junior Champions and Rachel Holman with her revamped team. Tracy Fleury actually skipping is a winner over Suzanne Burt from Montague. So there they are. The final eight. The elite eight that will play for more big money starting tomorrow. And on this Thursday evening, we do say hello, Canada. Welcome back to Fredericton. Kathy and Russ alongside. So down to that elite eight on the women's side. What do you think of the teams remaining? Well, I think they're really good. The two marginal upsets, as we might call them, were between teams that had played two or three events already, and it was shot-making that became the difference, and that's as it should be. All right, let's show you what's and what we do know so far on the men's side of things. That was from last night. Glenn Howard is a winner. So is Brendan Botcher. Matt Dunstone and Colton Flash in the draw to the button in an extra to advance. So we know half, of course. Tonight, we've got eight teams remaining on the left-hand side, and it includes many revamped teams, including Guju. Epping McEwen is going to be our feature. We know Carruthers with a new team, and Cooey, of course, with a brand-new team, as well as John Epping. You know, he says that this all starts, all these changes, they start talking about these things back after the trials. Time to meet the teams now, brought to you by Home Hardware. Here's how, let's talk about John Epping and some familiar names still with him. Absolutely, Matt Cam from last year up to third, and he's gonna be the key, I think, all year for John. If John gets that kind of support, he'll play as well as any skip out there. And reunited with Pat Jansen, who played in the Briar last year for Botcher and did really, really well with Chadwick, the monster at front end, making the rocks go where they're supposed to go. And then, of course, you've got Mike McEwen. Where's that buffalo gone? It's got a trillium on his back. <laughs> well, if you look at the back end, both Ryan Fry and Mike McEwen, four years ago, these were men that we expected to potentially vie for the Briar. Not so much anymore. They have slid back. Ryan Fry said it's almost exciting to try to chase to get back to the top. It does, though, make Ontario a little more difficult with the arrival of Mike McEwen. He's on the ice against Stepping when we come back. The 2022 Points Bet Invitational is brought to you in part by Points Bet, proud partner of Curling Canada, by BKT Tires and OK Tire, by Tim Hortons, the official coffee of Curling Canada, and by New Holland, proud sponsor of Curling Canada. Four seats in play here at Willie O'Ree Place as we finish and decide the Elite Eight on the men's side of things. Jack Smeltzer, he's the uh, host committee 
invite he, former New Brunswick Junior Champion. He'll go against Kevin Cooney and Cooey in his revamped lineup. Reed Carruthers also has rebuilt. Braden Calvert and his team from Fort Rouge, they're in their fourth year together. Brad Gouge, who has also made a change at second against Nicholas Deagle as the from Bridgewater. He is a club champion, Everest club champion. And John Epping, Mike McEwen on sheet D, of course, that is our featured game. So John Epping makes his way down. It'll be Epping that does have the last rock, winning the draw to the button against McEwen. Kathy, I did think it was uh, interesting when he did say that all this chatter, all these changes, usually start around the trials. What if, what if, and then when the trials are over and you know that after that four year run, you haven't made it, now all the talk really begins. Well, and we're seeing such whole scale changes this year, very much going to a business model. We hear teams talking about it. It used to be, will you commit for a year and we'll see. Now it's commit to four. Doesn't mean they'll stay with four, but right. that is the intent. So Mike McEwen is out and he'll have the uh, brush down and to get us underway, the McEwen lead is Brent Lang. Well, one of the best ever in Brent Lang and uh, he, he's going to really help this team out a lot. It's, he's one of those guys that doesn't say much, but he says it at the right time. He kind of uses three lifelines in a game and he, uh, usually when he speaks, he, he makes a pile of sense. It's okay. Stay with the pride. We're there, we're there. Now you think about it. I mean, he's playing his former yeah. teammate, right? Yeah. This is how the game works, really. He's Epping was, his, he was with uh, with John, as was uh, Ryan Fry. At the most. Well, and John Epping said, I had the best lead in the world, referring to Brent Lang yeah. last year. And it's just, sometimes people just need to change. It has nothing to do with how well they played. It's just time. No, Lines Kevin good. Cooey uh, had one of the best answers. Lines he good. really tr believes that teams have, the if they can, an the eight year way. shelf life. Mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, this fires people up, all right? New guys, and let's move on. And and there's a guy, Cooey, saying that, uh, you know, he, he's had so much success and he still only last eight years. All right, let's take a look at the uh, keys to the game, and we will start with Mike McEwen. Well, Fry's with that, adding Ryan Fry to this lineup. We've, we've talked about it twice already uh, for Mike. It gives him just so many more options. Nice drawer, good brusher, great strategist, and one of the best things he can do along with his hitting is the line calls that'll help Mike McEwen out a ton. And trust your lead, Brett Lang again. It's all about rock positioning, and he's one of the very best. Whoa, buddy, get better. Close, Still got a curl. Close for weight. No, we're, we're a little heavy. Oh, no, we're bouncing. We're a little heavy, yeah. It's too late, we're bouncing. All late, eh? Okay. And bouncing okay. they are as they push it underneath. All right, keys for uh, John Epping. Uh, win the battle at third. It's that simple for Fry. We've already uh, anointed him as a great third, so Matt has to Control. prove himself here, and he can. Control. He's yeah. unbelievable hitter. If he can get that draw weight down, he'll scare Ryan Fry, and that's the secret to winning this game for Epping. And leave yourself a makeable shot. John's not afraid of any Whoa. shot. He's never <laughs> run away from anything, but that's partly his problem. This early in the year, first game in the event in this ice with these rocks, don't leave yourself something that's too tough. Keys to the game are brought to you by oh, Cashmere sweet, Bathroom Tissue. Sweet. Nothing feels like Cashmere. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't mind that. What's the other shot, Freeze? I don't mind just straight nose. That's fine, okay. too, for now. Patient. Nose it. Normal. After talking about how good Brent Lang is, he was heavy the wrong way on that freeze, and now it's... Uh, Epping sitting two already. It's good. Yep. Whoa. Girl. Ah, wow. Hey, JB, that's a good throw, bud. My bad. Good throw. throw. Sounds like too much ice. Good throw, John. That didn't do anything. That's straight, straight. Eh? Straight. Yeah. A couple feet. I'm think I'm seeing a couple feet up the center. The problem with the draw to the button, uh, a lot of teams four throw them up and down the yeah, middle. Just I was going to say four, so yeah. Take the crispy pebble off. Then it's all about finding the button, so you don't get to read the sheet. And uh, Mike guessed at an X amount of ice, and it was too much. So here is uh, 
Pat Jensen as he returns now to John Epping Fair after late. spending the 18 season with him and then the last year of course fills in joins Botcher real close John it's looking like after coming off the bench he was a, you know Brendan Botcher's alternate for a number of years and to the back edge and out boy oh boy so it's fine what is time on that 14. Make it. That's on the button, boy. In fairness, that's pretty quick. First it. end inside. You don't out, like the but... freeze, eh, Mike? No, I don't mind it. Okay, let's make pretty it. good situation. Probably... I like it with the end, though. Okay. okay. Make it, okay. JB. Let's go, buddy. 14 and a half over here. Sounds close to me. So when Jonathan Buke. Yeah, you have to remember we first saw Jonathan as well as now his opponent Scott Chadwick throwing lead stones for Epping. They they were the Ontario lines. champions. Oh, 19, I guess. Gotta go lines. And uh, they were playing with Scott McDonald. That's right. So uh, yeah, they've go, uh, found their way. ways to new teams. Gotta go. Keep going, curl. Get that off. curl. Curl. Distance. Curl. Distance. Just line them all up. Okay. okay. That didn't work. Hey, bud. So often happens, there's always some options. You could, you okay. could have played the run back, not simple. If you miss it, you might give up two. Yeah. Playing the freeze, if you make it really good, you could force uh, Epping, but now he's going to sink a second one here. A little bit early. I felt close. Thing is cold. Almost top eight. Top yeah. four. Whoa. Top four. Whoa. Freezing. Yeah, whoa. Freezing, John. Small bounce. Yep. Yep. Coming down. It's just top eight. Top eight. Whoa. It's Whisker Tech. Right. Over here. Okay. Good I don't know if it maybe even Good throw. did give it a little glancing blow on the way by. Oh, Mike. Pretty close to a nose. Good teaching moment there, Vic, with uh, when Team McEwen came up way light on the come around. They kept on it. They didn't give up, and they lined up these two yellows to the best of their ability, which makes this shot for Fry a bit easier. Oh. No. And that Girl. was the uh, two of the best years you've ever seen in the game. 13. Fryer, World, yeah, but... and then the uh, 14 gold for uh, Ryan Fry. They lost a couple games early at the Olympics, and it looked like, oh, oh they're not going to make the playoffs, and they ran the table. So I'm seeing the intern, but... So run a little better this side. Okay. I'm, I'm saying the same path speed as you're out of the button. So Matt Cam, as mentioned, moves back to uh, his third spot after Ryan Fry leaves, and he played the last couple of years at the second. Harden! Two-thirds. Tight guard. We want a tight guard. Former Ontario junior champion. Keep it moving. Come on, Scotty. Whoa. Oh, boy. Good spot. Good. Nice brush. I think they're running that. Yeah, I think so. Good throw, Matt. That's the only other. It's give up two, though. Well, that's not. I think you got to run that chase. I like to run in this case, Vic. If you miss it, there's a very easy double. Unless it's guarded perfectly. Right away. Right away, Buke's on it. Hard. What do you got? Run it back go, and drives go, it by go. and tries to spill that over as far as they can. So far. Yeah, good try. So frosty in the middle. So Fry gets Kathy to play with his old pal again. They have a history, of course, it goes back to their early days, their junior days in Winnipeg. 
Well, he did talk about feeling that they both come from the top of the game. He said, I grew up around Mike. I knew yeah. I always wanted to play with him. And at this point in my okay. career, he said, I feel like I'm on the back half of it. Hey, so lighter. I want to play with hey, who I want to play Lord. with. And he's been on the top Same with spot, the Olympic oh, win. And he just wow. said, we're not anymore, but I want to try yeah. to build the team to get back up there. And he thinks all things are possible. Okay, get it in then. It's, it's, it's there, there. Okay, well, then. It's there. It's there. Try to find a way not to set up an easy triple here. Sit. All right. It's fine, Matt. I don't think there is a triple. I think we get that pair. So our first look at now Mike McEwen, Ontario, as he becomes the uh, import. Mikey. How hard? Yep. And together again, Cam and Epping at the yep. back end. An ice. Yeah, that's what I wanted to hear. Epping saying that this is a good test One for more. them tonight. They've been busy. Uh, the uh, Epping side. Oh, they were. They've already played uh, in Leduc and Martinsville and Okotoks. So they, uh, whoa, whoa. Off, off. whereas it's a couple of events for McEwen yep. Yep. in Martinsville, yep. Saskatchewan, and the Duke. Ah. And it still leaves Epping sitting too. Not a good throw there. Somebody said it's still a little frosty there. Might have planted the seed for Mike, and he just threw that right through the break. Little outward motion on that out turn. Hey, Mike. Sorry, bud. That's all right. McCarthy, John Epping was saying this is a nice test for this team. Uh, you know, the fact that they're on TV uh, in a big event. You know, if winner moves on, lots of money on the table. So it's a, it's a good test. Give them a sense of what they may uh, encounter. And he also felt that normally you wouldn't I'm get this sort of test yeah, with TV until much later in the TV year. So it sort okay, of right? accelerates where you need to be. And he really is interested to see how the team does. I was asking him about how he built this team and what T the right players now. he's got now. And he said, honestly, it comes he down watched. to gut feeling and what got players it. I think I can work with, be with. Got it, girl. They've got to have it's the same kind eight, of drive, nine, 12. have the same kind of work ethic, and he thinks he's got it. He certainly knows that in Cam, and he knows that in Jansen. Six. And uh, what we've seen before is Scott Chadwick, my gosh, for the front end Good player. So has he got <laughs> the four that will uh, that will last? Well, he doesn't even know that, but he certainly hopes so. Sure. Sure, it's a nice team. You got a jamming here is pretty good. Maybe not. Might probably just play this one. Yeah, I was just thinking you could. Well, our first update is uh, Jack Smeltzer. He is from the Capital Winter Club in Fredericton. He is the host committee. Invitee against Kevin Cooey and his easy, brand new easy, team easy. out of Calgary. And he has the opportunity for two in this end. Kevin Cooey guarded his stone the entire end. And on Jack's first, he went around it and buried in the forefoot. Kevin crashed on the guard. This is the draw for two, needs forefoot. How do you like that at home? And he'll draw the forefoot for a couple. The uh, former New Brunswick junior ch champion of 19 and uh, a bronze medalist in the university championship back in 18 out of UNB. They play, play for way, junior they today, played a very, very aggressive game. No fear, rocks all over the place, not afraid to try to put pressure on your opponent, which could put pressure on yourself, but it paid off in spades there, made the draw of the button and got their deuce. Nice start. Mike needs yep. to make one here. Oops. Nothing yet. Yeah. Now he goes. Bukes got him. Right he got the plug. line. What do you got? Bang, bang. And he stuffed it. Okay. Wow. And so they are going to have a chance for three. Epping right out of the gate. Remember back, Vic, they could have played the run back and they decided to play the freeze. Missed the freeze and that turned it into a three. Wasn't the wrong call, but it was missing the freeze that was the turning point. Okay, man. 
get it back. What an opportunity for, the last for John yeah, Epping out pressing. of the Lee Side sure. Curling Club I feel in like Toronto. You don't have to sweep it, but. Well, they just dropped right yeah, off here. It's got to come something. down big. You can't hit anything, eh? Stop. Oh, he's going to use his backing. There it is. And there it is for three. Epping. Hey. Three. McEwen, last rock. When we come back. So it's eight against nine, eight seed John Epping, nine seed Mike McHugh, and, and it's number eight that has the early advantage as he puts three on the board and Mike McHugh in a hole early. McHugh yes. and the yes. team from the uh, Granite go, Club in Toronto really go, will be uh, and do have the last rock playing the Yellow Stones. That's ah, kind of tough for him to do anything good. Yeah. Same weight? Yeah. I think so. Let's see why not. Same weight, JB? Yeah, I think so. A little less. Close. No, I don't think you're less. I changed my mind. The line's fine. Line's good. Yeah. Get the speed right, Johnny. Yep. Yeah. Okay, you're good. Yeah. Easy, Get JB. That speed easy, right. buddy. Pretty good. Just right to your broom. Easy. Just past your broom. Just right here. Just for height. What did that go over? Shot. Oh, look at oh, that. Boy, Still like... finishing. Sit right. ever. Oh, my gosh. That uh, tried to get to the rings, it would hit the boards. So we have 16 teams on both sides, women's and men's. That's what we started with. We're down to the Elite Eight and women. We're going to decide the Elite Eight now, tonight. The difference, there it is, look at that, the 19 minutes. You still have your 38 minutes, still have your two 90-second timeouts, but 19 minutes first half, 19 minutes second, and if you don't use all 19 first five, you do not get to carry it over. And then, of course, the big one is if you should be tied at the end of 10, as we saw last night, you go to a draw to the button for the win. And a Colton Flash was uh, the winner last night over so Karsten Sturmey. Yeah, I like that ice, Johnny. Yeah. Easy. Close. Yep. Close. Jonathan Buke, we mentioned Close. with. Uh, Scott McDonald, but he also came down and he played with James Grattan a couple of years ago in the uh, the Bubble Briar in Calgary. I think so. So you're tight on your own there. Well, we haven't seen this. Uh, I don't think in the event so far we had a blank read Carruthers against uh, Braden Calvert. And Guju, Fred Guju, with a brand new second in EJ Harden, cracks a three against the team from Bridgewater, and that's uh, Nicholas Deagle, who is the Everest club champion. And that Guju game just completely split the house and then added a third one in and just traded stones back and forth. And in the Calvert Carruthers, these are two Manitoba teams that know each other really well, and no one was interested in playing. Real close to in. Real close to tight. You scored through there? Love to squeeze in. Yeah. Hit the. You just throw it normal. Back one Hit. first, come off the backside of the top that one, like squeeze into the rings, as he said. He still has two corner guards yeah. he can use. Don't know. So he can't just afford normal? to give up another steal okay. here. Yeah, it's normal. Question. Normal way. Which turn? That's out. Turn. Out, right? Yeah. 
Yep. Yep. Hard! A former skip at Queen's University Hard! won a U Sport gold medal. Really good goal. Okay, Buke. Good throw. Jeez. Okay. Throw, bud. Skipper was impressed. He'll probably split. But not, not the Could result we, they wanted. You want to go here? Not getting the broom in the right spot. Top 12? Yeah. Well, even top eight. Like, get in here. Okay, so what did they it's want? They're trying to hit the uh, deepest that, one, this will be open. make the double, and the yellow would have squirted either into the rings or at okay. least out of the way. Now it's kind of a problem, Rock. I mean, it's still, you can still use it, run it back. Yeah, no, yeah. no you can't. You can, but they'll, it, what, I think what John will do now is just get half around it Take and that protect away. that one on the button. Okay. Line's good. I think what they're saying is great little throw, little meaning close. out of his hand, there. not Line's at the far good. end. Go Ken. Go with you, Ken. This is all packed. We're top eight. Something went wrong between the throw and the result. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Jess, top 12. Yeah. Top 12. Go ahead, Pat. Go ahead, Pat. Yeah. Go ahead, Pat. Make Pat's a move. Pat. Come Make on, move. Patty. Right Make to the move. line. Make Let's go. Come on, Pat. Come dig, on, buddy. Go, dig. Go, 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 go. And great uh, weight. I don't know. No. You got room? I think so. To run so. it back? Maybe not. Maybe it's just, just covered enough of it. Boy, you got some... Heavy duty brushing on these two teams. <laughs> Normal. Yep. Whoa. Yes. yes. Whoa. Whoa. Curl. 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 Shot, buddy. Yep. Nice Go shot, ahead, Mike. Go ahead. Go ahead. Nice shot. All right, nice. Gets it over to the uh, back of the twelve. Kathy, when we were chatting with Ryan, with uh, John Epping, and we said, were you surprised with Ryan Fry moving off? He says, no, nope, I wasn't. And, she, and, you know, John is that kind of guy. I don't think he would wish ill about anyone. He just said, I'm so happy for him. He gets to play with Mike. And he also, you know, said that I just okay. don't take it personally. When people say that they're moving on to something else, I don't wear that as, like, they don't want to play with me. It's just they're moving to something else. And in this sport, that's a great attitude. Hard to stick, hard to stick. Have you ever been okay. cut, Russ? <laughs> no, have you? Not yet. Because <laughs> it's hard. It's, you know, whether they're moving on to somebody who's better and different, it's, it's tough. Well, after that blank, we've got something going now. Number five from Morris, Manitoba, Reed Carruthers, against number 12, Braden Calvert. And he's out of the Fort Rouge in Winnipeg. Well, he's gonna, he was very frustrated after his first shot. Reed had the opportunity to split the house and lie two. And it is that red stone that is at the back just out of play. And so this is the attempted blank, but you have to make sure that you don't jam it on your own. Bang, and did it spill? I believe it did. Have a look. Confirm it. And away it goes. So they did get blank. Interesting team there with Carruthers now hooking up with Jason Gunlickson. And uh, they did play three years together earlier in their careers with Derek Samogalski and Connor Negevin. Yep. Gotta go. Gotta go The mixing and matching really is quite interesting. It's amazing this year. It's, it's I've never seen anything like it. A lot of the same culprits, but uh, totally different uh, lineups, a lot of different positions. And Vic tries to set the players that we talk to all the time to answer a question yes, and they always say no. And his question is always, if you're a hockey team, you go and you look out for a better defenseman or a, a better goalie. And he asked the players, Do, did you go look for some specific skill set? And almost to a person, they say, no, it's about the same goals and the chemistry that they think they'll have because of their personalities. No, you're right. And I, that's why I said, I mean, John basically said it's gut. Now he knows he's got it in his lead, Scott Chadwick. And now with Jansen, he's got a pretty good front end there. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, do you not think that the, Kevin Cooey looked at Botcher's run in and said, I, I could use them. <laughs> oh, no kidding. So, yeah, there's a gut feeling, too. But, Kathy, I think, you know, there's... Uh, yeah. yep. It'd be interesting. I, I find it interesting because you think you would. You're looking yep. for a certain yep. skill set. Yep, yep. Drives it right through. John yep. Epping. 
A lot of people would say you've got, you'd like to roll buried there. If it rolls buried, McEwen comes around it, then you, you're hurting yourself. If McEwen goes to the forefoot, John's got that very easy run back that he's just thrown. Kathy, do you not think anyone... Well, they picked you for your bubbly personality, of course, but would they not have picked you for what you can do on the ice and your shot making and certain things that you bring? For sure. The skill and set. The example that you gave about Kevin Cooey and that front end of Carrick and Brad Thiessen, there's no question he went after two of the best sweepers in this game for the skill that they bring in sweeping, but not because they throw an intern better than somebody else. And I think that that's John's point. You look at specific skills, but you also need the kind of people that are going to fit in with who you are. Right. Just full eight foot. Archie! 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 A little bit of encouragement from Ryan Fry to Mike McEwen. Where do we? Top four? Top eight. Top eight? They can throw the short run. Yeah, so we got to think this is a little heavier than draw the button because it's sad. Yeah, I think, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Interesting. You'd, normally you'd go a little deeper, Washington making that Tia, red run back longer. They're going to throw it tight, so it's a yellow rock that's being run back, which is Mike's color. Plays, Mikey. Good sweep. And all the Good way back. back and buried underneath. Throw, Mike. Sitting uh, behind the T line, back edge of the Probably. four foot. Not ideal, though. He, yes, he buried it, but uh, John should be capable. It's right down the draw of the button path, and he just watched Mike throw it. There's a good chance he'll weld one on top here. And no more two ender. All right, let's go back to uh, Guju, yeah, number one yeah. against number 16. Guju picked up three in the first. Now it is uh, look, Nicholas look, Deagle out of Bridgewater. Here, well, that red stone that is second shot was Nicholas's first draw. He tried to get shot, came a little bit short. Brad cornered it, so there is only the lid. Wait, close. Don't want to. High line. And now you have a look. I'll go with one. <laughs> this one for sure. Not good enough. Yeah, that's one. Yeah. Watching Epping's last. The other two. <laughs> yeah. One red. No, no, they got one. One red it is, so a steal of one for Guju. Let's get rid of that thing. Well, you can walk to work that. Just pick. I thought it was there. I didn't want to go early when you played. I thought you gave us two feet more than Jonathan. Yeah. Well, they were fooled with that. They actually thought he gave him. he had a little more weight. Yeah, yeah, similar. I thought you were like three inches past me. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Yeah, good throw. Interesting. Should we get rid of that thing? Is that what you threw to the draw of the button? Wow. I liked it. I thought Same it was throw. there, Brent. A little less spinny though. A little less. Okay. Same throw, your line's fine. A little less spinny. Very important now, Vic, with the sandpapered rocks, if you take your rotation down, the rock will A, curl more, B, slow down. So that's what he's saying. Yes, I'm heavy, but maybe with the less of rotation, this will curve over. Just. And wow. one right. less spinny, one and it stops in time to pick up a couple. Not anymore. Not anymore. Got a two. Not a very happy two. Brent Lang throwing the lead stones for Mike McEwen. Now out of Ontario and skipping the team from the Granite Curling Club in Toronto. Gets a couple in this uh, battle of eight and nine seeds on this uh, Thursday night here at the Points Bet Invitational in Fredericton. Winner moves on. The loser is out in this March Madness kind of format. 
Win four games, you win fifty thousand dollars. Scott Chad. It's pretty good. Line's better, guys. You're close for line, Matt. Yep. Little bounce, John. Yep. Gotta go. Really hard. Yep. Me and Buke have been together a number of years. Well, they were together at yep. in that university gold medal at Queens. Oh. That was back in uh, 2010. Wow. It's hard to believe, huh? It's yeah. So it out. 12, 13 Walk years. It It'll be a 13 we'll years. That, I guess, eh? Either way. Okay. You just freeze well, what out. happened here after Smeltzer got yeah, a couple, uh, Cooey gets three? Well, a combination of Kevin Cooey's team making a lot of shots, but Jack Smeltzer slid about four inches too deep on his final throw, and that allowed Kevin Cooey access to it to remove for three, and he did. Easy on the line. Looks hard. heavy. This looks hot. Yeah, that's why we're not sweeping it. Stay with it, Brett. Curl, curl. You gotta go, Brett. You gotta go, buddy. Straight, 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 straight. Whoa. Took off. Okay. Scared. Okay. Nice and easy, bud. They're trying to keep that on the high side, and it uh, took off. Yep. Clean. You're good. You're good. You're good. Oh God, really? Tight top. Same way. So you can tap it a millimeter high. Yeah, it's really good. Okay. <sighs> Lang saying there is release the closest yellow to the T line and set up the other two, cue them up on the top red, and it'll be very hard to remove it. That's pretty precise. Just to it. Let me know. It looks there. Close. Close. Stay, stay with the Ryan. Weight's close. Oh, 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 oh. Still a pound light. Curl, curl. Still a little light. Whoa, whoa, straight, straight. Curl, 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 curl. curl. Okay. Hit. Good throw, Johnny. That's not bad. Plays for sure. Hmm. Yeah. That's what I was seeing. And then just let that bounce that out here. Okay. Like normal, or a little less? Yeah, what are you trying like? to hit, like two thirds high? Yeah. Yeah, and see if you can move the red Even a bit seven too. eights, even seven eights. Yeah. It's five rocks in the rings, Control. but it's one of those okay. ends with the hitting ability of these guys, it looks like a blank. Dead control. I thought dead control. Yeah. Hard, Matt. Gotta go, buddy. Gotta go. Matt Cam. Gotta go. Yikes, yikes, yikes. That wasn't the plan. What I threw or even. Well, blank one, blank two, and uh, no blank this time. No blank this time. Braden Calvert having two opportunities to hit and stick against two stones oh, belonging like to Reed Carruthers, rolled out both times, and so that means that it is a draw to the paint for Reed for two. Yeah. Yeah. We saw uh, Jason okay. Gunlick's in there holding the uh, brush for Reed Carruthers. Curling a bit earlier. So Gunlick's in uh, deciding to uh, give up skipping Sorry, duties right. after last year, Team Boy, Wildcard went to six and four can't at the Briar in left bridge now perfect. hooking up Boy. and uh, bringing his uh, lead with him. Great, great pair ramp. Now Derek Samogolski is their uh, second, and he played with Mike McEwen last year. So two on the board in the third. Normal. Yeah, felt similar or so bad. Whoa, easy! Whoa, whoa, straight! Straight! Oh, go hard, hard. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice. That's my bad. Good throw, right? Oh, yeah, it works. Oh, sorry, guys. You need to move, eh? Well, Pat said the same thing, too. Yeah. 
That goes there. Board waiter. Could try to make that. Or just hit and roll to it. That's what I was sort of seeing. Kind of way like board? Yeah. Can you make this uh, hit and roll over without touching the redstone top of the button? You can yeah, if it's soft enough weight. Okay. Half a rock would clear the red, but you, you know you obviously need soft weight. It looks like they're going to do that too. Like, the, and by hitting it crossing the face like this, the rock will not roll very far. It kind of sits board. dead because of the Whoa. rotation. Close. If he was hitting it on Scott. the inside with the out turn, it would roll right out of the rings. Hard Scott. Hard Scott, he go. Hard Scott. Scott Chadwick. Well, they couldn't get across the nose enough, and they're going to kill their own. Pretty lonely red in there, but Epping does have the hammer. You play here in the third. Pretty good. Get under probably lines up some kind of triple. Control. Yeah. Control. Yep. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Curl. Clean it. Clean it. Whoa. Curl. Straight. Whoa. Brian Fry. Curl. Curl. Uh, little, you're bit. Good, you're little, good, little bit. Little bit. Little bit. Little bit. Good shot. To sit four. Triple looks close, but is that crazy? It's one of those shots like that if you. Get it right. That could get very, this. very close to getting the Malvik. Yeah. You know, it's that 90 no, degree no, rule. The top bad. three will move if they try it. Thick half. What is it? Thick half. Thick half. Well, they're going to this, the, the two on the right, and maybe roll towards that wide one on our far left side. Right away. Jansen. Keeping it off that line and we'll get only one and then lose the shooter underneath. Three half shots in a row by uh, Team Epping. It looked like they could just blast away and get a blank, but they just keep missing the doubles and not putting any pressure on McEwen. You can see it in their faces, Vic. It's, mm -hmm. you know, it's the start of the year. I know Epic's played four spiels, but it's it's such a big game. You lose it, you go home. You win it, you're, you're looking at a pile of money if you keep on winning. And it, it, I don't think anybody's super confident yet, whether it's first game of the ice or it's the middle of September. You think for speed, similar to this? Yeah, I think similar, yep. Well, he may be playing out of Ontario, Line but he's brought close. that Manitoba throwing broom with him. Got to curl. We call those heirlooms. You can curl yeah, yeah. It. No, it's heavy. It's, oh, it's heavy, no? man. Right here. Whoa. Uh, okay, that's good. That's okay, fine. Whoa, that's whoa, fine. Whoa, that's whoa. fine. It's look good. Sir Mike, that's a good. Like the eight foot line. I think the eight foot Not line even close to where Mike wanted that. that. Just got fooled on that side. He makes the freeze. I'm gonna have the double for two. That's what I'm, That's what my thought. I'd like was. to get a chance to play that spot. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I guess a little more. Yeah. Back four. I think it's good just to practice this shot yeah. in this spot. I think, eh? What are you thinking on the side of the sheet? 
so I had uh, 14 on that. I, I still feel like we've lost like f four or five feet. Is that fair? We, we were thinking three. I'd say two, three. Two, like, three? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Where, how deep here? Uh, back I forward. like the way they're talking uh, feel numbers. It's just a wee bit slower. It equates to feet instead of worrying about the split times. And that's the kind of thing, Kathy, that, uh, you know, as a new team, I'm sure John Epping appreciates that uh, that kind of communication that the, the fellows are giving me what I want. Well, and it's really important to not say yes, you know, and just go along with it if, if that's not what they feel that it is. And he's looking to them to give their best advice. Yeah. Yeah, that's a bit of a different release there, right? Eh? Well, he opened with a couple, yeah, Jack sure. Smeltzer, out of the uh, Capital Winter Club here in Fredericton. Yeah. Cooey replied with three, so what's happening? Oh, yeah. gee. Well, Trouble in River yeah, City. Yeah, all kinds of uh, yellow there. There there was an opportunity on the third stones. Oh, he nine. buried perfectly, but Kevin Cooey played a quiet way to lie four. And in trying to hit and roll under, they let it curl too much before they started to sweep. And so Jack hit and rolled out on his first. Faces four, needs a bite of the button. Smeltzer with Michael Donovan, Trevor Krause, Mitchell Small. If you can drag it there, and you got to drag it there, rub and roll, get enough. Oh, he just made. I grabbed enough to give up a steal of one. Hard to say. Sure, anyway. He was drawing really well, 83% on his first three draws. That speed was dead oh, that, on. Uh, exactly. I was just going to say the same thing, Russ. There was nothing wrong with the speed if he doesn't touch the top. Whoa, whoa! Little solid. Girl! Really gotta go. Really gotta really go. Really gotta curl, John. Really gotta go. Okay. I've seen these guys play better, Vic. Same weight? Yeah, I like the same throw, Johnny. Yep. He's soft the re release and it. John's last one, see what he does this time, but he drifted. He he's up on his toe and he it's body whether he's got a scratch and a slider, I don't know what it is, but his body was going quite a bit left, rotating left. Difficult to hit the broom. Just back foot sees. That's crazy I'm hard good. to be uh, accurate. So facing four, I'm draw good. against four with his last. And needs full eight. John Epping. Line's good. Do we have that you one? That? Yep. Hard. Yep, yep, hard, yep. Hard, 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 hard. Yeah, you're going to play a little Sorry, quiet guys. tap for, for the single. He leads it 4 2. Well, we just want to update that game on the sheet A, and it was in fact 2. It uh, was after they had a better look. Two, steal a two, Cooey's up 5 2. Kevin is out of the Glencoe in. Calgary over Jack Smeltzer from the Capital Winter Club. So all the teams here, the 16 men, 16 women, $5,000 to help with their expenses. And then if you win in the sweep 16, you pick up three, six for winning the eight, final four, 12, and the final win, 24, $50,000 potential for the winning team. Four games here in Fredericton. As we welcome you back, and uh, John Epping used the backing, played down to it for a single, 4-2. He leads over Mike McEwen, who once again has the hammer, has the last rock, playing the yellow stars. Still there. Wait on me. Line, 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 line. Right to it, right to it, right to it. Wow. Good shot. Shot. Good.
Yeah. Top four T here. I got back, back four. Back eight. Back eight, back 12. And we talked about Pat Jensen being with John, and it again, it was the quad. It was the quad before Pyeongchang. Yeah. Those four years leading up to 18, mm -hmm. that was when uh, Jansen played with Evan. Yeah, and, and played well. They, right. they, they had a great run then. No light, if anything. That looks really light. Live you guys. know what surprises me a little bit, Kathy, is that you can go home again in curling. You, you can. <laughs> you, 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 it, it, again, maybe it's, maybe John hits it right on the, really did hit it on the, on the head when he said, you don't begrudge anybody leaving. And if you want to go back, I mean, hopefully there's no bad, no hurt feelings, and you can go and play. Or it maybe is for so many teams now a business, and uh, you're hired to do a job. And simple as that. And it is a business decision to go back, even if your feelings were hurt because you got cut before. If you're being asked, and and you go back to a company that maybe lets you go at one point, if they're offering you the right amount of money, or in this case, <laughs> the right incentives, yeah. why wouldn't you? Right. Close something. I thought that was close. Yeah. Wait, Slade. Whoa. Wait's real good. Whoa. It's gonna have to go wait, Chuck. Whoa. I think we're there, Matt. Wait. Small bounce. Whoa. Small bounce. Don't want to roll open. Oh, very nice. Great throw, Patty. Really Pistol, good. Buddy. <laughs> yeah. Easy. Well, after falling behind four nothing. Control. Nicholas Steagle out of the Bridgewater Curling Club, the Everest Curling Club champions get on the board. And Brad Gushu playing just a very conservative, smart game, not taking risk. A little light. Heavy board. Yep. Hard. 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 I'm gonna go, Ryan. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, buddy. Okay, try, bud. A little thinner that yellow wouldn't have gone through the rings, it would have stayed in the paint, made it a little more interesting for McEwen. Oh, my. You know, for Guju, this is their first event mm -hmm. yes. of the season, and he has been battling injury, groin, uh, and some back problems. So, did you not say, did we not? He's saying the car that they would have normally started a little later. He did say that if it were not for this event, they would have started their season the second or third week of October because knowing that they will be at the Briar in London mm -hmm. in March, it's a long, Tight. long season. Tight. They flew to Tight Ontario to throw Tight rocks day. for three days to get ready for this. Tight As you said, they hadn't prepared on any spiels at this point. Just tight. Go ahead. Scott, we're almost in. Yeah, he's, uh, it's, you know, the groin, the hip were a real problem. And I think some mental fatigue. It has been a very full last four years for the three members of this team and just not wanting to start early. He also said that all of their sponsorships ended at the end of the quadrennial. Yeah. And so he spent six weeks after curling season ended just working on that for this four years. Gonna curl at all here? Shouldn't he think so. Yeah, you think of last year for Brad, yeah. all the bonds busy you play in your the Briar, the yep. Worlds, Whoa. the mixed doubles, Whoa. the Worlds, Whoa. the Olympics. Okay, it's, just... it's fine. Okay. 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 Good shot. And then you get a team like Braden Calvert out of the Fort Rouge in Winnipeg. No changes. Right. In fact, this is their fourth season together. And an opportunity to Long take two and tie game. after Reed Carruthers hit and rolled just a little bit Starting too far on curl. his final stone. Needs a bite of the four. Starting to curl here. 14-9. 14-9. Clean it in there, bud. Good throw, beak out. Yeah, 
to even it up. Good judge, guys. Calvert, the two-time Canadian champion, won the 15 World Championship, and he beat Yannick Schwaller of uh, Switzerland. And uh, Schwaller has picked up and is, I think he's won his first two events. He came to Canada, Schwaller and that Swiss team. Peter de Cruz, that, he's stepped away, and Schwaller has taken over that team with uh, Benoit Schwartz. I was at a bonds field to start of the year, Martinsville, where they were there, and they were really, really good. That's a nice team. They got 1445. They've won two on spiels that, already. Right? Yeah. And they, so uh, it's still that six, eight feet slower than draw off, I'd say. Ryan Fry as we play third oh, yeah. stone. Let that run. Close. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Looks a wee bit heavier than the previous rock. See what happens. Go ahead, We're heavy. Go ahead, Brett. Go ahead. Go, Brett. Go, 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 go. Keep going. It's not going to be good. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, bud. That extra three feet just makes it run that five, six inches. Yeah, that line would have been really good. Straighter, yeah. Vic. Shit. Too bad it was a weight shot. Amazing how different they'll they end up at the far end with just that pound extra weight. Good throw out of his hand. So the better result would have been what? More Aren't on the nose? Free? Yes. Tempted, yes, yeah. absolutely. And that leaves you that. Kind of leaves us a couple of shots. Yeah. Yeah, that always goes there. We have the two. Yeah. Yeah. And the yeah. Do, do we want to unlock it or just do it? No, I don't think you need to. I don't think you want to move it. You okay. can, but I don't think we need to. Okay. Do, I don't think we need to. I think you get low in there, you're happy. John can raise that one when he wants. He can raise that one when he wants. That's a dream for a skip to have both options because the other team can't really take it away. The Cunes have been in trouble here. We move it on the nose is fine too. But. Um, this now I, look, I feel like we got the spot back up, eh? Yeah, yep. I agree. I you agree. agree with that? Yep. Okay. What are they just mapping the ice? Yeah, well said. He, he said last end uh, that he thought that one spot that was an intern going down the far end, similar piece of real estate, he felt it had slowed down three or four feet. Now, because there's been quite a few rocks down this spot with brushing, he feels it's back. So it's gone back up three or four Easy. feet. Very precise. Well, T. T. T back four. Just T. Yep, Pat. Pat. Roll it all the way if you can. Roll, 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 roll. Oops. Wow. John's line has been off. Weight's good. Weight was good, yeah. Weight was real close. Yeah, me too. I don't see anything else. Me either. Yeah. Okay. A little bit low, like you're just it's trying to plant, sliver low. plant it there, right? Yeah, I want to plant it right there. Kill the middle too. You got across the face. A little bit. Hey, smooth peel. Just a sliver low. Sliver low, run the top one that Ryan's hiding there onto the right hand one, make that double, but the middle one will go over and take out the shot rock. He could get rid of two. So sliver low would be towards the uh, center line side. True. All right. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. 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 Nothing yet. Mike McEwen. What do you got? You bang there. Oh, and. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Leave okay. Epping still the uh, the shot stone T line edge of the button. Anyway. Well, the familiar stance of Mark Nichols has the brush down for his skip Brad Kuzu, seated number one in the uh, defending Canadian champions. And this appears to be a draw for two. Brad Corner froze a Barry Deagle stone on his first, and Nicholas followed him down, but I believe it overcurled a little bit. 
And so yeah. a bite of the eight foot is what is needed. Depends on where it ends up. 15 2, gotta go, gotta it's go. Over curling a little bit. He may be able to, oh, Jack may be able to notice it. I'm gonna say two. Okay. I gave you two feet more? I like right it. Off, right off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah. What did that one split easy? See? I did give it a little bit more of a pop, but. You did. Even on the line, like that was at least as wide as my drop button. Who is it? It started curling early. Yeah, Looks like red from that awesome. angle. Yeah. 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 And then they've called for the measure. So one for sure as he draws the uh, four foot. And we'll update you as soon as we know. So what's he got right now? Just a little bit off, Mike. He's yeah, it's pretty hard agree. to miss it without that being in there. I know. John's tapping the second shot rock. He could tap it Gotta be teeth. thick. He can Whoa. actually sit three here. Yep. Whoa. Just Whoa. tap Whoa. it out of there is Whoa. probably good yep. enough. Whoa. Line only. Jansen. Small bounce. Left. Scott. Chadwick now. Gotta go. When he leans, he leans. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh. Whoa. Okay. And thankfully, he didn't. Your uh, Epping hit it any thicker, you would have chipped it in. By your cold. Just can't buy one right now, eh? So Cooey up by three, getting ready final stone for Jack Smeltzer from the Capitol right here in Fredericton. And there is no question that it is the Yellowstone belonging to Kevin Cooey in the forefoot that is shot. But on the other side, there is a stone belonging to Jack Smeltzer. He's trying to tap the Cooey stone back a little bit, even an inch or two, to bring a couple into play. Hard, hard, guys. Hard, 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 hard. Oh, just grazes the top stone. So just one. Single it is for Smeltzer. Cooey continues to lead there. It's number four seed Cooey, 13 it's, it's Smeltzer. This or this? This one? Like, I'd like it to be there, but. Onto this? Whatever it is, we gotta make a call. And after the measure, it, it was in fact two for Guju. 6 1, he leads Nicholas Deagle from Bridgewater. This is barely gonna hit it. I don't think that's there. If it if it hits that one first, it goes through the hole. I think I have to play this street back. I agree. It's that, or you just play it for two over the top. Yeah, that might be easier, Mike. Yeah, and two is important that's here. Mike can't, that's probably the call. Mike can't play anything crazy here to give up another steal. Oh my god. Okay. What is it? It's like here, right? Yep. Half. Let me just throw firm. Firm, you know what it's going to do. It's a very tricky right angle. There, you've, you've, Half. you've got to hit. Firm weight. Yep. This yellow just one as it. thin as you can to get it to go straight back. Looks pretty good. Sean's rock has to be straight, eh? Got it. Has to. Just firm. Yep. Let's make it good. Good. It's identifying that John's got a straight one. No other way in, do you think? <sighs> I don't think so, Vic. Right. The, the top red one where beside Fry is the real problem, Rock. You could, you could come down with the other turn, tap it for one, but they don't want one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Close, close, close. Whoa. Yep, yep. Final yes! stone, looking for the combination. Fire! Lang has got Fire! him. What's the line? He got it this time. Sure enough. Don't win. What? He'll settle for the single. That's that one back four just hanging on to the edge of the button. So McEwen picks up the one. A little bit of a struggle. Epping continues to lead it here on a Thursday night in Fredericton. 
It is the very first points bet invitational from Fredericton and Willie O'Ree place on this Thursday night as we narrow the field from the sweet 16 down to the elite eight. In this battle of eight and ninth seeds, it's a John Epping up by one, and he once again has the hammer, has the last rock playing the uh, Redstone. Interesting lineup here with yeah. that long, long center, which was on purpose, a nice tight one in behind. It's going to be good. awfully tough for Epping to run that long one back, so he's going to go the other way and get around early, but he's went right behind the button. Back line. Yeah. If it slows down wow. a bit. Oh, boy. That's uh, to my feet. Oh, hey, Johnny. And Jonathan Butte goes deep. Line. Kathy, how uh, how much do you beat yourself up here? here if you're not playing that well, missing yeah. some shots, or do you just Looks chalk like it up to being nice early now. in the season? No, I don't think anybody that's competing at this level is okay like with fun. not having draw weight or hitting and rolling out. It, these are too much of a of a competitor. You're frustrated. You you want to help your team. You want to prove to them that you are the right choice to be on that team. And the best way to prove that is by making oh, shots. And when you're not making them, you're not happy. Real close. There right now. That's yeah, real close, though. So. Line only. Looks heavy. Yeah, we're uh, back does, four, back back button. Doesn't no, look, doesn't look too much lighter. It's a, there it'll it goes. Bounce, real yeah. close, so. Whoa. Oh, right to the pin. There's a little room, though, just to get in there. Just go off your throw, though. That's Pat Jansen. Six feet less. Yeah. Need to get one in there pretty soon, though, Vic. Hey, line's fine. What do you think? Yeah. Rev. Easy, it's running. Easy, fry. So trying to draw it back a little bit after going deep with his first. Jonathan Butte. Gotta go, boy. Gotta go, go, go. Get up by the yellow. Whoa. Yep, 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 yep. yep, yep. Oh, man. Oh, soft pick or? It looked strange. It looked yeah. like it did pick coming in, but. They weren't concerned. You would thought they might have been brushing a little bit more as we drop in on Carruthers and Calvert in a 2-2 tie. And It'll be Reed okay. Carruthers in his last. Well, potential for some big points here. Braden Calvert's final stone is that yellow one, but it did not finish. He was trying to get on top of the stone thrown by Reed on his first. If he can get this on the outside and run yellow onto red onto yellow, both yellows in the house disappear, leaving three red. Very nice to avoid the jam as he just ticks it on the way by, Great picks up two more. Pair, buddy. Good brush there by Derek Samogalski. A little safe, sorry. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Top eight. Top four. Top four. Yeah. Four around it. Yeah. 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 Yes. Hard spot. Hard spot. Yikes. And that one just slides a little bit after the rub. Not where they wanted that one either, Vic. It's, if he can ever get to take a little extra ice here and brush it into the corner of the button, I don't know how here, Epic's going to get it out of there. Okay. Yeah, he may not have the pinhole, but he'll certainly mm -hmm. hold them to a single. Mm -hmm. wait, oh, wait. But this gets yep. tougher. Because it's getting quicker in tight, and now Line. Fry's got to go a little wider. This should die and curl. Gotta go. Line's good. Whoa. Easy, easy, dude. Easy, buddy. Whoa, whoa. Brent. Go, no, go, Lang go. trying to help it over. Go, gotta go all the way, all the way, all the way. And can he get it into the crotch? Yeah, very nice. All right. All right. Can do much better than that. He'll get it there for second shot. Two veteran teams, like it's unusual to miss the wrong way the way they've been doing it this end. And 
Epping went from sitting four to in big trouble. He might get a single, but I don't see him getting more than that at this point. So opening up the front, Kathy, in a situation like this. Now Mike puts going to go put up the guard again. Do you, if you're Epping, I mean, look what you've got. You've still got three stones to throw. Would you risk throwing something in there just trying to blow it up and get some separation, unlock some stones, or are you just content now to take He's the single line. and be, say hard. thank you? I don't, I don't know that you want to start He's blowing it up. Russ, would you? Well, I, I, I take both the front up, and, and uh, you know, you certainly don't want to. Uh, he's, he he oh, wants to have a shot at that uh, second shot stone there, but you're right. You've you got to be careful. You're running in the wrong color here. He might, Kathy, do you think he can hit that top yellow in the rings onto half the red onto the yellow? I do. So that might be his play, that, that one, yeah. That's what Ryan was trying to guard. Sorry about it. I'm just not always getting the broom in the right spot either. Oh, that's all right. Not easy, man. Because no. <laughs> you're frustrated, I would think, if you're repping to be in the spot. Yes. You might almost want to say, Let, can we just throw it on the bumpers and let's move on? But <laughs> you still have those three shots. Well, yeah. Lots of time yet in this end. Back eight. Yep. Hard line. Back. Whoa. Yep. Back, back eight. Hard. Hard line, buddy. Got to hold it. Got to hold it. Hard. Big, buddy. Big. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Jansen. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yep. Five, three. Cooey leads. Seeded number four against number 13, Jack Smeltzer, and what's he got here? Well, seed number four has got a draw for four after Jack Smeltzer so hit and rolled out on his case. final stone. Any paint will do. Nothing yet. Mind you, he's going to run this. Can't top, top, top four. This, this is harder than Straight top throw. button, T. You got none of the yellow yet. T. You'll touch it. So Cooey totally rebuilds the team with nice. Tyler Tardy at third, and then, of course, the front end, the former botcher front end of Brad Thiessen and Karik Martin out of the Glencoe in Calgary. And he blows that open. Same turn you just threw, no? What's Same that? turn. Same you just threw. Keep an eye on that one, that one that accidentally got there. They they might be able to do something like that. It's it's incredibly thin, but the reward is uh, is pretty good if you could ever filter it through that port. But John's going to take away that yellow red rays we talked about. Kathy and I were looking at. Lots. I thought lots, but oh, real good. McEwen is first as we play right skip guard. stones Halfway. here in five. Halfway's good. Halfway. Doesn't need to curl. Needs He's got to stop. stop. He's got to stop. Let's stop. Sit. Whoa. Get. You don't want to go down, but it's thin, like it's. I think you got to plant it. Okay. Like right into the side. Into of the it. side of this. Like and see if it shoots. Right into this. Yeah, it's thin. Okay. okay. I think it's going to come back. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I see it, but is it makeable? Really okay. The nice thing is if it does move the two out of the way, what, it opens up the What they're thinking, it could here. redirect okay. off this rock here. Is that good, John, though? Yeah. If it opens up everything and comes back. Just enough to do that. As long as this <laughs> five isn't gone, wow. we're okay, because this will be, this will be okay. there. Okay, we got 55 seconds. Okay. Yeah, they're getting a little tight here. They're... He's still John. have two stones to go. And remember, of course, there's the uh, the 19 minutes now. I think we got to hope for real thin. Mm -hmm. Like feather tick. Thin. I don't know. Did we guard the right shot? It's a good strategy, Vic. Hoping. Whoa. Yeah. Yep. 
Scott, gotta go, gotta go. Just his second up weight shot coming across and bingo. And, uh, moves it a little bit. There's a little bit of an unlock now, too. But it's still uh, sitting just the one is Epping as he just back of the pinhole. He got robbed. Like he hits had a hair thinner. The red it might have moved the yellow because that four buried. I think he's only that the one. squirted pretty hard. Not enough ice. 30 seconds, Mike. More ice, Ryan. We're, we're guarding the center one. Here. Oh, I know. It's <laughs> high. We're going high, right? Yeah, yep. I need more ice. ice. I'll hurt myself. Quarter, quarter 12. Hey, you've got your timeouts, Mr. Fellows. I mean, you do have two of them, unless oh, you're trying good. to save it. Yep. Let's get a little tight. Yep. yep. Nine. And it'll stop with eight seconds. That a little early. Hit it early and then off. Got it. Easy, easy, Johnny. Johnny, easy, buddy. Stay with it, Brett. Doesn't need to do anything, oh. boys. Get better, Brett. Oh, oh, higher oh, the batter. Oh, 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 perfect. Oh, oh. Good speed. Oh, perfect is Plus. 10 feet higher. Okay. Good shot. shot. Sorry, guys. Oh, good Sorry. throw, man. I was good. just worried about the line a little early. Yeah, yeah exactly. You got to make sure you guard it. This timing thing makes a lot of sense, eh? Your only shots out. So timeout has been called by John Epping. You're seeing that one? Which one are you seeing? Okay. Yeah. Or this, that one, you might get action. Like, you might have more options here. Like, you could probably do that. Well, that's what I was thinking. Still some good it. things, some good things could happen with this one. I can never take my own out, Whatever can I? It's always jamming in there, I think. What? Three quarters. Mine ball. is always staying. Well, there's enough so. reds in there. I'm pretty. It's always the last of you, right? The, the yellows are going to go. Yeah, let's Either do this. The straight one. back or the slight angle. Like, Still got 45 seconds. The key is get this one dead on. It's the hair right in the middle. He, Two thirds. He, he could probably score four, potentially five if he hit this perfect. Wouldn't that be something? Mm -hmm. Yellow, yellow, hit the right side of the red top button. The yellow will go out, might might take the back red, but John Epic would not care. Peel weight just a hair on the high side, right where the broom is. Final stone right now, he has oh, one in his pocket. John Epping. Matt Cam has the brush down, not a lick yet, all on its own. And that's what he'll get, just the singles. It just never came up for him. I think so, bud. Epping will pick up one here in five, and we'll go to the break. 5-3, Epping leads it. What are we going to have here? I think I'll have some fries with that. <laughs> The 2022 Points Bet Invitational is brought to you in part by Home Hardware. Here's how. By Scotty's Facial Tissues, the tissue for any issue. By BKT Tires and OK Tire. And by Tim Hortons, the official coffee of Curling Canada. Mmm, popcorn. I'm sorry, I know, but I'm not going to the concession stand and getting fruit. <laughs> Bring an extra bag of popcorn, please, and you can just leave the fruit. Oh, here. Let's take a look at the numbers after five. What do you think? Five, three, Epping leads it. Well, in opportunities for John Epping, that last one, if he's able to run that stone back multiple points, I feel that Mike McEwen's team has been so close so many times just hasn't made what they need to at the back end. So John Epping leads it 5-3 as he talks things over with his third, Matt Can. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure it's good. We are in uh, Fredericton, the New Brunswick capital. 
for this first ever points bet invitational. As we narrow it down to the uh, Elite Eight and all that happening here at Willie O'Ree Place. Excuse us, pardon me, thank you. As we look down on our uh, featured sheet, that is uh, sheet D, one of the outside sheets of the four in play is uh, Brent Lang. Throwing the lead stone, gets us underway, 5-3 Epping against McEwen. Now I was looking back, talk about somebody that's uh, had some experience and been with some people. Of course, you think back to John Morris, and he won his two Canadian, two worlds with John Morris. And then he comes out a junior, and he's playing with John Morris. And then he had a one-off year with Heath McCormick, uh, did Brent Lang. Mm -hmm. And now I think Heath uh, makes his home in upstate New York, right. I think. And then he went on to uh, play with uh, Glenn yep. and then Cooey. This one's going to yeah. run better. Yeah. Right. Epping. Yeah. And now. No. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Line's and good. extremely successful in every spot. Yes. And you have to be a little bit of a traveler these days or being open to travel or being an import, which means practicing by yourself if you're going to succeed. I think we're going to see more and more and more of that. Well, and there's nobody more than than Ryan Fry has traveled and represented so many different provinces and played mm -hmm. with success. Well, you have to think about uh, the time down east too, right? Absolutely. Started in Newfoundland, Labrador, and moved away from Manitoba to join Brad Gushu, mm -hmm. and that started that message that he was prepared to be a gun for hire. Queen, 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 queen. Whoa. Okay. Good. Real nice. It's okay Good. not to sweep, eh? we know that, right? Like, you don't have to be doing something. Well, he's done a lot in his career, and you come to Manitoba, well, that's where he's initially from. Some great success with Jeff Stout, and then he moved out to the Atlantic to play with Brad Gushu and learned so much. And then, of course, those tremendous years with Brad Jacobs in Northern Ontario, not only at the Briar, but, of course, winning that gold medal. And then John Epping, playing third now, representing Ontario, and, of course, he's also not thrown away. his hat in the coaching ring that's mm -hmm. not on there. And we saw him earlier today coaching tight Rachel half. Holman. Tight half. Tight half. We're going to overcurl. Just past but I think the with the advent of the change in the rule where you could have one uh, parachute player from outside your uh, province. Yes. You know, you leave. So Mike McEwen... After all those years of having a team in Manitoba, he'll be one of those left to uh, train on his own, right? And that becomes very important. You just can't just show up. You have to be ready. That'll be a different mindset as well. Or do you, as at this level, are you just prepared to throw the stones? I, I think, Kathy, that takes a special person. You know, it's, uh, you know, you can, can't get ice till 8 o'clock at night on a Wednesday. And... It's snowing and you're out there by yourself. It's uh, it's dedication. I'm living with that in my household now. My son Jacques has been the parachute player into BC this year, okay. taking over Tyler, Rip. some of his former team. And you're practicing on your own. He's driving out to a curling club in the country that's got ice right now by himself. And if you're not prepared to dedicate that kind of time, it's not going to work. And there's a trust factor, isn't there? Yes, there is, that everybody is yes. doing what they say they are. Yeah. He's doing it in Manitoba, and the rest of the team are doing it in, in BC. Yes. Yeah. Higher. Hair higher. Go early if you can. Hi hair higher. Okay, you're okay. You're okay, actually. Uh, Looks like same, it's running a little spot, better, same guys. Spot. Looks like it's running better. Yeah. Okay. Same spot. Tight. Well, well We're tight. It's the same. Just yeah, pass the logo. Stop. We got to stop. The night games, it gets a little bit softer down the center, that wear pattern with all the practice and all the slides down the uh, slide path. Those guards, that's what tends to happen. They look great till the hog line, then they just make a slight turn. Team McEwen can get at this now with a soft weight uh, tap back. Girl, gotta go, Brett. Gotta go. Gotta go. Keep going, Brett. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Jeez, that's a rocket. That's a board. Wrong speed. Okay. Back line to board. 
But if we ever get one behind those corners. So I was trying to do. Yeah. You got this running good still. Still good? Should yeah. run good here now. Yeah. Top eight, guys. Yeah. With the five rock roll, Vic, it's, it's, it seems to, not all the time, but it's more and more apparent what these teams that are winning do. They just stay on the offense because well, early, you, there's four guards to remove well, out there. You can't get them all with one Top swipe. Four. So you might as well keep applying the pressure, keep McEwen away from that corner guard. We're behind it right Back now. Back four. Trying hard. Really curling. As long as you are prepared to probably make some difficult, more intricate shots, right? I mean, if you're going to play that way, you better be prepared. Yeah, yeah, you need that. You're going to get them in the right spot, yeah. that's for sure. You're, it's, it's going to backfire. Back line. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Back line. Little light, but close. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Close. Wait, yep. good. Hard. Little light. Gotta go. Come on, Johnny. Hard, Johnny. Big Johnny. Hard, Johnny. Hard. 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 Still leaves Epping sitting the uh, shot rock right Good. on the pin. Want to just pick it? I don't mind that either. I thought it was that, but it's up to you. The freeze would be a better result if you can get it on the angle yeah. here, but it's a tough shot now that it's yeah. starting to slow down. Off the round, guys. Matt Cam. All right, first of our second half updates and Carruthers up four to two and getting ready for the final stone for Braden Calvert out of the Fort Rouge in Winnipeg. Well, and it's pretty tricky because he can't hit this stone on the nose. That back stone will outcount it. If you play the double, your shooter will roll too far and the stone just hit by Reed Carruthers will count. So he's trying to play a soft weight hit on the nose, but to roll enough to get into the forefoot for the single. He's harder. And sit down. Got rid of two. Now look around the edge. John Lixon has a peak. I definitely want to measure at least. Okay, we'll measure. So he's called for the measure. Meanwhile, it's a tricky shot. Ryan Fry. Almost to the hack. Oh, hack. You're close. No. Oh. 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 I don't see any. Not yellow, buddy. Don't see the official. Kirk, keep going, Brad. Right? Gotta go, buddy. Gotta go, buddy. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Yep, 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 yep. Keep going. Okay. Uh oh. Yeah, that's real bad. The guard. Not good. Keep guarding that yellow. I like Gapping's play on the previous shot. Uh, Vic got it on the corner and it forced Ryan to make a really tough a attempt. Didn't quite make it. Now it's so late in the end. I think you can just play and guard this yellow one. Good pass here. Any particular place you want to put it? I, I don't think you want it too tight to the rings maybe right where that red one is about three feet short somewhere in that vicinity and no need to overlap anything just mm -hmm. stick it up front yeah i think you're right just 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 fill the port oh uh, tight tight it's gonna be pat pat go ahead no line's great Where? tight half half line's great half two-thirds half half just past the I like what yeah, Chadwick's doing there, just keeping it clean. Oh, 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 oh. oh sit. going sideways. Sit. sit. Good, John. Good. Right. Go, Johnny. Check the bag. Pick you up in there. Yeah. Oh, I just have to make contact yeah. in here to even score. Yep. Oh, I hear you. Yeah. That's all I see. That's it. You got her. 
Could have run back one of those two reds. They might as well run the shortest one back I onto the yellow. I don't want to catch that curl again. See in the spot? Oh, I throw it harder then. See in the spot? Just a hair harder. Okay. Three quarters? Yeah. Thick three quarters? Broom on that handle, Fry. Yeah. A little less. All right, smooth peel. Try to take the curl out of it. I would love to be somewhere, somewhere, yeah. anywhere in this area after making contact with the one on the button and try to stay buried. Very difficult shot. He needs one here, sixth end. Okay. Do like this four foot line, maybe? Okay. I'm not okay. sure. Okay. This out, out turn here is polished pretty good. Okay. Imagine. So upping the weight just a little bit, as he said, to take the curl out of it. Want to hit it right where the handle is. Lang, run it back. And okay. They'll leave the oh, shooter boy. out there to be used again if they need it. Still shot rock sitting on the That's lid. Belongs to Epic. All right. Just can't buy one today. That's a, that's a great, great attempt. But I think that yellow is wide open. Small port, mind you. Yeah, it's going to be edge on edge. True. Maybe facing a couple. You like through the hole? Yeah, I think so. It's either that or the, the other option. Oak turn draw. Right there. That's fine too. Yeah. It's paper. I've seen it a million times. But... Whatever you're feeling, Johnny. You want to take a look at it? Yeah. We know the ice for the draw, so yeah. take a look and let me know what you think. Yeah, I'm seeing the freeze, but I'm seeing the freeze. Yeah. Cool. So it was a steal of one for Carruthers. Yeah. Against That's a big Braden. point. Braden Calvert, and he now leads it 5-2. It's close. Whoa! I'm up there. A little big. Whoa! Small bounce. Back Pat. forward. Pat. Pat! Whoa! Small bounce Pat. still. Get it off that guard. Power. Okay. Oh dear. And now by that one again. Look at that. You're going to tap your own too far. Oh, and it just Good. does Good. stop as it's been sitting there for a while. It's great. That nice. slide yeah. path saved them. It's a good throw. Just a pound heavy, Power. half a pound heavy, anything more, and he's all over that guard. Sit, 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 sit. Good. It's good. You can't score. No. This, this is suicide. No. We just, we just gotta. Yeah. Just yeah. give him one, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I probably need through. Tony shot I see is that and try to get it onto there. But you heard the word suicide. Oh gosh. And what they're yeah, what they're yeah. basically saying is if you ever hit it that way, yeah. it's, it's, really enough. it's a steal of three. You're never getting to the nose with enough weight no. to kill it. There's enough curl, there's well, enough different spots in the ice. Uh, yeah. down three points is He's not insurmountable. What he's conceding though? He's going after the the stones just thrown. Is yeah, that the one? Yeah, same as John threw and go tap tap and get rid of one of those uh, reds. Okay. I think the danger here though is it's easy to throw it too hard trying to move those rocks. And if you throw it too hard, you're going to hit those corner guards. It's 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 definitely a weight shot, like a back ring type thing. Which Final stone. Right now it is Epping Her. sitting two. Whoa, Whoa. Lang. Clean. Yep. Buke. Got to yep. find the hole first Her. though. Yep. Got three. that sure three. enough. Three. Do three. now. Three. Late licks. Whoa. Here we go. Oh, and he's pushed it through. And did he oh. move it far enough? Boy, oh boy. That uh, is that for see. two? 
One for sure. One for sure. Good. And it may be a measure, but it looks like it may be just a single. That red stone looks like it's second shot, first glance. Oh, it's close. Yeah, this one. One it is. What a shot. Boy, if you, if you ever throw that a fraction harder, he gets his two. Nice shot from conceding to getting one. Brian Fry on the brush as we welcome you back on this Thursday night as we fill out the field for the late eight here in the sweep 16. We already have four teams that have advanced. Great shot by Mike McHugh and I don't know if he knew it even thought it was there. He was ready to concede a single but ends up getting one and was very close to getting two. So as we start Line's here in the seventh, it's 5-4. And Epping Line's has the last good. rock. He has Line's the hammer good. playing the Running redstone. Like yeah, that was so close to scoring two. Oh, there. Lang oh, uncharacteristically uh, heavy there. It's, it's tonight, it's a, if the rocks curl early, if the break points early, they seem to be slowing down. You get out a hair wider, it makes you look silly. Should run nice. Lang missed the wrong way. Okay. It's in the good stuff. There's the point. Mm -hmm. It's in the, the good stuff. So that means it'll less friction. It'll it's travel well. And if it doesn't slow down, it won't get into the slower yeah. area. And you'll do exactly what Brett off. Lang did. No, no, nothing. That's if we it. touch it. Got a little rub and roll off. It, it surprises me and maybe surprises others too that at this point in the game, there are still patches of mm -hmm. good stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, you would think that you would have touched everything mm -hmm. within, say, the eight-foot area. Whatever you like. I think with the weather outside, there's that, th that little dusting of frost, and you hear them say, we've warmed up this spot, or this spot sat for a while, and it's just not an exact science. This is running nice here. There you go. And you've got to keep that communication up. When we teach our clinics, it's all about communication. Transfer, boys. And, and Epping has to say if this rock's been thrown two inches wide because it's not in the good stuff to give the brushers a better idea how far that thing's going to travel. I know, Kathy, we've talked that everybody on a team should be engaged now, but it's interesting. There's, there's John saying it's in the good stuff. Uh, we know this path. That's just maybe more the responsibility of the skip. Am I right? Yeah, I don't know if it's more the responsibility. You know, we're now at a point where every player is watching the line and knowing what they're what they're seeing. But John's seeing more than the rest of the team because he's holding the broom and he sees the releases and how they throw. But it is, as Russ said, that extra communication. You can't talk too much. So I've built my life around that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm glad you caught yourself. <laughs> yes. yeah. We were both going to go, yeah. yes, you can. <laughs> we were racing for that one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can talk too much, boy. I tell you. <laughs> Jonathan yeah. Buke. They had a nice one coming down that yeah. time, and it kind of grabbed and overcurled, and that was just a perfect little nastier. Yeah. Hey, hey well, we're there. Jonathan Jake should make this one. He just threw there. it. We don't want to. There it goes, there goes, there goes. See with it, Fry. It's gonna still, get into. It's still there. It's gonna get into different I, stuff we're here. Just, we're there. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Still there. Oh, really yeah, nice. Just, well, very nice. Turn. Get Fine. that thing out of there. And I, I found that interesting too. Just in the space of what a foot. As uh, Mike McEwen says, yeah, it's gonna get into right. different stuff <laughs> just by that path. Yep. yep. It's that precise. Buddy. Whoa! Great 
Great shot. shot. Oh, great shot. Look at that angle now, Vec. That top red will promote the yellow right through the port. And he's that's he unlocking it. Gets rid of the backing. Matt Cam. Four Briar appearances. Initially started his first was with uh, Mark Keane after he came out of junior. That's pretty good. If I remember correctly, he and uh, Scott Howard were on that yeah, Mark that's right. Keane team. That's good. Scott now playing with his father. Keep going, JB. Keep going, buddy. Hard, keep going. Hard, Johnny. Get it by go, the red Johnny. one go, would go, be go, ideal. Go, 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 go. Nice shot. shot. Boy, I think you I can get sliver. this. Can you hit can enough of just that just red? Play yep. that or just get to the nose? Whatever you see. Let's try and just get to the nose. Okay. Just through. Back line, yeah, Patty's, yeah, back, good back line. Two choices, hit it thin with some weight, which wouldn't be easy. It's almost fully buried, and you could actually make the double, red, yellow double. John's going to be a little more patient here, try to tap it back and stay on top. All set up by the previous red yeah. come around tap. Almost hacked. Whoa. Hack. Easy. Scott. Hard, Hard. Okay. And again, it's just like having a little key to unlock things. <laughs> I guess. Hi, Kathy. Reek yeah. Brothers after that uh, steal of one and six, leading at five two again. It's uh, Braden Calvert, Port Rouge, and Winnipeg. Well, a huge opportunity for Braden on his first. He had an open hit to lie three with hammer, but flashed. Reed went in again. So this is now the run back double attempt to stop, score two ball. or three. Oh. Easy on the line. And gets nothing. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. One shot, Whoa. eh? Just turn that right around. Whoa. Brent, this is yours. Stay with him. Easy, yeah, Brent's got slide Oh, Girl, honey. Okay. Oh, that's not great. No. Seeing the same shot, but. I'm gonna lose the back one. That's okay. Okay. Like what, board? Sure. What was I, hack? Yeah, how much weight here? Board, board. Yeah, you were hack. So Guju continues to lead 6-3. They blank. Six. Whoa! And board. they blank seven. Whoa, Dig. straight! Guju against uh, Nicholas Hard. Deagle out of Bridgewater. Whoa! The Canadian club curling champions. Oh, good shot. shot. Wow. The execution, when you think about all those stones around the forefoot. Right, and it's a little soft down the middle, so it's, they've got to be very precise in the brushing. You heard John scream one way, then back yeah, the other. Really good shot. Shot. You know, go back to what uh, he said, John said to you and uh, me, uh, Kathy, Half stone. about yeah. this being a somewhat of a big test, you know, the early season top competition on TV. Uh, he's got to be happy at this point in time, I would think. I would think so. I mean, the score is very close, but think about what Mike McEwen had to do to get that point last end. Just the way they're set up there, Kath. I think that'll redirect right through the port at the back. Certainly. Uh, yeah, I can see where you're going. The right hand, the shot rock was sideways, so that's gone. And then the one he's hitting should get back behind the uh, forefoot at least. That'll be a lonely red one in there if he makes this. Skip yep. Stones. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. Mike McEwen Please. in his first. Yep. Puke just with the dust now, some late licks. What do you got? Bang, and right Good, through man. they go. <laughs> and sitting one. 
Did we? Yellow stone at the Sorry, back. Mike, I just wanted to save your shot. Out of four. We might need it. Well, it was, it's, uh, what? It wasn't we haven't a seen slide. any smiles from uh, Magic Mike, but that's that's one. Great shot. Slide. And Fry one saved the thrown rock. Watch the yellow one. He got it to stick off his own. A lot of yellow granite. I like that shot. Like 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 right at the end, I just. Are we trying to move the red? Yeah. Okay. okay. Back in. I'm just worried about that out turn getting tight where we're we're yeah. going to uh, curl. Are we trying to move the yellow a bit? Move our just our red a bit. Okay. I think this will run. This will run fine. I think so. Yeah, I do. Have to get this in a really good spot. Buried top four, or I think he's trying to tap his own and create a little bit of a wall. Mm. Wait's close. Wait's close. Small bump. Yeah. Hard. You got to go, Pat. What? Keep Where going. did this go for Keep me? Keep going. Whoa, whoa. Now you got to bounce it off the guard, yeah. Vic, to try to guard whoa. the lone red one. Whoa, whoa. Oh, John. Weight's pretty good, eh? Yeah. Hit for five. Right out of nowhere. Weight's going to get on it, too. Just worried. Like, Happy with good. the yeah. hammer. You could clear everything out. Yeah. You were out. Yeah. Yeah. That passed. Yeah. So I'm not a fan of that spot. Spot, okay. Sorry. Either it runs pin straight like you did the draw or it quick snaps. It's the easiest. I also don't want to flirt with this guard. Well, but I know, I know what Brett's saying. You might be able to get to here. Fine, whichever way. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like, well, it's I like getting him behind it. here. Oh. John, he's, like, he's uh, better this. make his Move next one. Ideally. Yeah. He's got to throw an intern through the middle through here. Yeah. Okay. Like normal? Get, no. Yeah, like let's hit it first. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. What's this gonna do? We gotta hit about quarter, right? This is gonna curl. Yeah. I could so just maybe, throw. I could throw easy maybe and just. Maybe shot is easier. It probably is. Yeah, let's go low. Yeah. Is it? That's this a, is gonna curl, but it'll curl though. It's dangerous. I think we throw easy and yeah, then you just I manage agree. it. I agree. Because once it crosses the line, it'll go. Just easy. Just make a call. Well, Jack Smeltzer picked up a single, but it's all cooey as he leads at 11 4, playing eight. I guess I could throw normal. Yeah, like, aren't you playing the tick tick now? Ryan, let's throw normal and hit the quarter. Yeah. Okay. That's a very veteran call by uh, Brent Lang. Instead of removing it and staying there, then it's an easy shot for Epping, albeit against a bunch of yellow. If he hits the red no, thin, right moves there, the yellow out of the way, rolls over to the pile, then Epping doesn't have any backing. He could have a tricky little draw against three or four. And they haven't been uh, easy to make in this game. Well, you'd think that John Epping would be uh, doing a little second guessing after his first. Yes, yes. Yeah, it took off on him for whatever reason. Mike McEwen, his last. Yeah. Art. 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 JV. Art. He's going. Dang, what a pile. Look at that. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. That's what is uh, facing now yeah, John Epping. Like Boy, did that end ever turn like around. Unbelievable. But that's. Or it'd have to not quiver. Yeah. Well, exactly. I don't think he's ever hit him. No. I think that's perfect. Yeah. Just moved it enough. Okay. Maybe so nosing it is makes wow. very. I think this tighter intern path will be better. You like the end? Okay. Okay. Well, this is close to where me and Maddie. I think that's good. Yeah. This this is just too unpredictable. This is just too unpredictable. So he has to go here, and he's got a bit of backing. But 
I don't remember any draws this tight. They've been out, you know, another 18 inches or so. So will it slow down in the center because it gets to the center sooner? I'm, I'm not quite sure, but the backing's over buried too, Vic. So if he throws back 12 weight, it's a steal of five. Facing five with his last. John Epping. Mine's good. Weight's close. Yep. Don't want to. Yep. Scott Chadwick. Pat Jansen on the brush. Jansen left. Chadwick right. Cam calling line. Here they go. Got to get it through first. Get it by. They did. Go, 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 go. Maybe take a little rub, a little roll. Take something a little bit more. A little rub, roll. And yes, it looks like they got there just enough. Brilliant. One it is for John Epping. What a team shot. That was slowing down. Hog oh, might in, Vic. Go, 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 go. And then just oh, enough oh, gear oh, right oh, there oh, to spin oh, in oh, and catch enough of the four. Facing five, Johnny Epic gets his oh, single. Like it was good. It just kept it in. You're good, you're better than good, you're great. We got the rise up, we're bringing it every day. We came to shake it up, no one again that we play. We got the rise up, we got the rise up. We got what you want, we got what you need. Feel it in our mind, we got the rise So we're down to the Elite Eight, including the number one seed, the three-time defending champions, Carrie Anderson, and her team from Gimli, Manitoba. They will go against uh, Kelsey Rock tomorrow. And Carrie's here, chance for autographs, a few pictures. And remember now in the Elite Eight, every win will be worth $6,000. Welcome you back on this Thursday night to Fredericton. The points bet invitational from the Willie O'Ree place. John Epping picks up the uh, single on a wonderful, as you say, team shot. Great judgment by Chadwick and Jansen and Matt Cam on the line call. What do you think compared to the out turns that you're facing? Five gets his one. No, I don't think it's close to that. The shot, you could just try to. Uh, I like this. Yeah. Um, I think it's got to be at least six feet six? slower than yeah. that, maybe Pilot. eight. Yeah. That one, I, the first one I threw for you guys would be close then. Sure. Yep. So there you go. That's an indication, isn't it? Just how much the ice has yes. changed. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And might not be across the entire sheet. Maybe the other turns the still running. Heavy. Quick, uh, you get different air currents, a little bit of frost. Well, you can see the, the light dusting of frost out there. Yep. That's where these top teams Rune. have to be so aware. Of. And what does six feet mean to somebody? Does yep. that mean he's going to, you know, take the hack out, or yep. some people react differently yep. to that uh, command? Oh, it'll stop. Yeah. <laughs> Stops curling. It's like a backstop in the house. <laughs> Shot, John. Let's drop in on the number one seed, Brad Guju, as you see. Mark Nichols has the brush down. Well, it is one, looks like two, that he already lies on his final stone, Nicholas. Deagle tried to play soft weight on his own to tap one of those reds at least back, but just went by the outside. So looking to bite the outside of the button. <laughs> I mean, literally, Nichols has that brush down T line, catch as much of the white as you can. And there you go, EJ Harden and Jeff Walker together. And they're not going to get it there. Just can't hold it on the sheet over there. And two it is. Can't hold on the sheet over there, hey? 
can't hold it on the sheet over there. I think it was top four. Like. Yeah, Brad had to go pretty wide there, a little bit yeah, snowy. Yeah. Further you go out to Mark Hurl? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, we would have yeah. to be. Oh, sure. Snowy there. Yep. Yeah. 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 Hard! Really got to go. Really got to go, Brett. Just bounce it's it on hard. Nose. Bounce it hard. I literally have not had one thing to shoot at. But it was soft, soft. I might be close. Within like two, two three feet. Yeah, I think you're throwing the same and we're bro brooms down. Okay, let's make it. Matt Cam. I thought I there. there. There right now. Close, yep. Yeah. Mine only. Yep. Yeah. Gotta go. Weight's getting better. Weight's getting better. Oh, there she is. It, Keep top going, eight. Pat. Top yeah. 12. Keep going. Jansen. Hard patty. That's wild. Okay, top one, Matty. Good throw. Whew. That's a joy. Oh, ice is gone. It's fun. Heavy, eh? <laughs> so we have a couple of finals. It's uh, Kevin Cooey. Hope to see you in March. <laughs> wins. Good luck. Over Jack Smeltzer from the Capital Winter Club here in Fredericton. The host committee selection, 13-4. And look at the acknowledgement of the uh, fans here to uh, Smelter, former New Brunswick That's junior right. champion as uh, Cooey and the team looked very That's impressive. Right. Yeah. And it's a win for yeah, Reed Carruthers, the fifth seed over number 12, Braden Calvert, 11-2 the uh, final there. So number five moves on as well. So we have uh, two more now. Adding to the six of the elite side. Nice shot. So from what we learned yesterday, you see Howard will play Dunstone, Flash against Botcher. We now know that Reed Carruthers will hook up against Kevin Cooey. Just the two remaining spots to be decided in the two games still on the ice. Too warm in here, and you're talking about it softening up into the rings, a little bit slippier underfoot. Please, it's just so hard. I'm just trying to keep it not where you. I have no idea. It would have been a complete guess again on that draw. And you can yeah, feel the temperature might... change out here. This yeah. is a very cold building, but in the last half an hour in particular, the temperature's definitely gotten warmer, and that's going to impact the ice. Back line. Yep. Whoa. Yeah. Yep. Down hack. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Yep. 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 Whoa. 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 Pretty good. Shot. Shot. Shot, right? Kind of wait. Seeing like uh, normal? Certain troll? Certain troll? Troll? Well, if Epic should go on to uh, win this, you think back to just that last stand and an end that turned around dramatically when it looked like Epping would be setting himself up for at least a couple, maybe even three. A couple of missed shots, wonderful stones by Mike McEwen, and he's left with this. Big enough port, Vic, but it was in a slower area. How slow, how hard do you throw it? He threw it hard and it still stopped. Great brushing to get it there. 
for a single as he faced five. The key shot brought to you by BKT Tires. Growing together. You're big. Scott. Scott! Hard, Scott. Whoa, whoa, oh, just whoa. lodge. Just lodge that back one. It's good. It's good. It's good. They wanted to roll on top, but they played the audible and they decided to brush it at the end. Uh, he wasn't going to roll on top and it un took the freeze away, got that yellow one, as he said, unlocked. So now the yellow one can be removed quite easily. Interesting that uh, Epping is actually being out skipped by McEwen, but that's the important numbers. The scoreboard lead six to four. Player numbers are brought to you by New Holland, proud sponsor of Curling Canada. In here, who knows? Yeah. The only other shots to roll, I think I just give him an easier double though. I yeah. think he knows it. I think so too. Yeah. Okay. What do you like to see? I, I'm feeling like easy out here. Yeah. Dead on is the play. So then when the yellow double attempt at the shot rock, we'll go into those reds on the left. I think he just knows it, Brent. Sure. With easy. Like if I try to, <clears throat> if I try to roll big anywhere, I'm just going to make it easier for yeah. him, I think. Yeah. Nose. I think we're looking a for a nose or just, just a sliver on Johnny's yeah. side. Yeah. How's that look for easy? That looks good to me. Yeah, I think so. Hmm? That looks good fine. to me. Sit the two, and they do have last rock, McEwen. Squirts through. I think or, it's there. Or like. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Like so. Gotta be careful here. It's a thick. It's. You gotta go into here. Yeah. I think it goes that What's way. That Half. What's that? They're hoping it goes in yeah. through there. We're just kind of hoping we get lucky and it yeah. gets the... That's close. Less. You can get the shot rock through the port, but at the expense of leaving this one in the eight foot. You might, you might. If you throw it hard enough, you might be able to get it off the back of that one red. Whoa. Whoa. Yes. Yes. Whoa. Yes. Now late Whoa. licks, Jansen. What do you got Whoa. here? Angle it back. You're going to squeeze it through. Oh, he's going to get it off his own and all the way through. Really nice. Didn't get it out, but got it far enough. Sits the two without last rock, does Epping. Couldn't hit it better, Vicky. Any thicker. The back one doesn't go any thinner. That one stays. Those are the shots that win you games. Like, yeah, he didn't quite get it out, but I don't think he could have. Now, the only way Shot McEwen through. gets Thanks. two is to play this tricky double. If he misses it, he's three down. I think we got it. I mean, the draw, we have a pretty good force, idea. Force, force, deuce, given. it's a draw. Hey? Force, force, deuce, it's a draw for the win. Yeah, that sounds like fun <laughs> out here. No, I know. I have to play it now, bud. What's that? I'm going to take a time out. Like, you can play it thin enough oh. that if you do this. Time. Like, you can risk going by it and still get one, can't you? Yeah. Like, if you get by it, we get one, right? No. Nope. What? No. Nope. You don't think so? No, you can hit that yellow low. No, but when you go into this? You can hit the yellow low. Oh. Yeah, I guess you probably could. If you just get by. I mean, I think it's a, a board weight double, no? I'd probably throw it harder than that. Okay. Because I think board is a hard line call. Sure. I, I see what you're saying. If it takes off, we get one. 
quarter rock, right? It's not crazy skinny. I mean, I, I, I see why you're saying board, right? I, I probably can't go over top. Well, that's not what I'm saying. That's no. Oh, just okay. the spin, well, it's that's gonna all. Make the shot, yeah. What do you think, Mike? I mean, this intern draw, we kind of know. It's a bit of a guess, but yeah, I'm just it. I'm looking at the scoreboard, right? Deuce here is pretty massive. Yeah, this is massive. I think we should play it. Okay, let's make it. I think it's just a matter of what, what do you see best for calling line. I, th I thought like a normal or an easy. I like a normal like right here. That's what I would be throwing. Would, yeah. To be okay. tied, like that's it. not a good spot. Right about there? Yeah. Does this curl, like, you got to think there's going to be some shape so to the play wing. play the double. I think you got to, you got to assume this is going to curl. Yes. Now, they oh. also talked about taking a single. I, yes. I think like, force. It, then two more, yeah, correct? Yeah, and it, with this that. new rule, it's it's fascinating because you, a lot of the top teams would take this double on normally, but somebody in the team mentioned up, I think it was Fry, take our one, mm -hmm. force them to one. Right, now you're down by two. Get our two, which is very possible, like Colton Flash did, and then right. it's... Draw. Yeah. And remember again, if they are tied after 10, no extra end. Go to the button for the win. Because obviously the downside here is a steal of one. Mm-hmm. Normal. Yep. Final stone. Yep. Can you make the double Hard. for two? Can you make the double for Whoa, two? Puke. No, uh, What's going on? Bang, coming across. Got to settle down. Yes. Sit down, sit yeah. down. Okay. And it will be a steal of one. Gambled. Epic steals one. So we've added two more teams to the Elite Eight. Still need to fill a couple of spots heading into tomorrow's play. 7-4, Epping leads it after the steal of one. And, uh, you know, hindsight being what it is, of course, do you... Uh, and, you know, maybe it's just that not being on the same page, but yeah, take your one. If you're uh, Mike McEwen and you said you yeah. gamble for the deuce. I, I would in this case with this rule that you like you play it out, you take your one, your one down. If you force McEwen to one, line. the next end, you get your deuce, Running you're tied, nice you're drawn now. to the button, your odds are 50 50. Right. If you uh, had made the double, you're tied, um, then the force, and you try to get your two, that's it's probably a little bit harder. But I think the problem now is but by. The steal. Now mm -hmm. you have to get your two. Then steal. Steal, yeah. We can go. Well, you're okay. Wait, it's close. I didn't feel that the team yes. had all bought you're into like, the mm -hmm. same no. approach, and yes. I think it was very important that they decided what they were Wait, going to do. You could hear that Brent Lang was not comfortable no. with Hard the idea line. of a draw to the go, button with the ice conditions Hard tonight, Hard tonight. Hard Hard and that probably go. played into go, things go, go. more than anything else. Throw Jonathan Buke. Sign's good. Easy. Starting to curl. Stay with it. Oh. Running. Whoa. Whoa, line only. Weight's yeah, close. It's, it's getting better. It still needs to curl. Weight's close. Yeah, can't, can't, can't. curl. Curl. Got to grind. Curl. Uh. Pretty close, but terrible. <laughs> Pretty close, but terrible. Where do you want to play that? My yeah, trend John's uh, Whatever you like. a lot of rocks in play here. What do you see, Matty? One more and then do it? I was tempted, yeah. Okay. You like that pot? Yep. Other options there. Yellow, red, run that back. Or just peel both of them. Mm hmm. But right down on top, he's saying right now, isn't he? That'd be pretty nice. Yes. Pat Jansen. Out there, you guys. It's going to run way better. T line, wait yeah, still good. We gotta curl a mile. Uh, we're uh, back for it. Go ahead. Wait. Hard not. Make a curl and you're good. 
curl. And rubs and rolls away. Leaves McHugh in the shot rock at the moment. I think you want to slide off just a little. Okay. okay. Probably same weight. Okay. Well, these speeds can vary a couple of feet uh, with the constant uh, brushing down this one particular path. All of a sudden, everybody's a little deep. I got more. Are there yeah. more? Stay with Back it. Back eight. Stay with it. Curl. Back eight. Back 12. Curl. Curl. Straight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Yep. Straight. Yep. Yep. Straight. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. Straight. Hard, Hard right. right. Hard. 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 Come on. Come on. Want to just rub and roll off, and he does. Has he got enough? Looks like they're sitting the two. Pretty nice. You're hoping to move that red back a hair farther, Vic. Mm -hmm. Now there's a little room to snuggle another one in there. <laughs> he wins. Speed's good here. Got six in the forefoot already. Yeah. Okay. Good here now, right up. The danger here for McEwen is how do you how do you score multiple points? That just overcurled a fraction. See, I know what you were saying earlier about, you know, you're up by three and yeah. Epping should be opening things up by. Easy. Easy. Conversely, if you pile enough in there, yep, that, isn't that a defensive move as well? No question about it. it absolutely. And that's that's the that's where skips get gray hair because you. Do you, do you play the scoreboard and start hammering away and give the other guys some free chances, or do you do this and try to get that out? So you're right, Vic. It's you know sometimes the best defense is a great offense. That's going to take minimum two shots to remove. Because you've got to get around the guard perfectly, tap it. It's not going anywhere. Then you've got to do it again, assuming uh, Epping lets you. That is a beauty. Keep an eye on that rock. So that could end up on the scoreboard. Yep. Whoa! Now they're going to take some Whoa! risk here, too. They got a sliver by the center yep. guard. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Hard. 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 Right up. 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 Okay. okay. So then you get hit it again, mm -hmm. and then you get hit it again. Mm -hmm. to, you're running out of granite. Good shot, though, just the same. Not sure what else he could have done. Throw. You're also looking at angles mm -hmm. and leaving Shot, yourself some. Is there anything there? I don't know if you want to lock. The perfect angle for McEwen or not? No, I think the red on the left side of the button. It's it's uh, just safe right now. I don't I don't uh, I can't yeah. figure Four. anything out. It would take one. two tries. Mm -hmm. There's no, only three one. left. One, Matt. Yeah, yeah. one. He's one. Okay, we're going just tight top twelve. Okay. Top twelve, John. Yeah. Same weight, then I think. Same or you, touch left. You might see McEwen come down and split the guard, so he's got some angles. Yeah. Because there's nothing right now. Tight. Tight right now. Tight's good. Just tight. Sweep if you can. Yep, yeah. go ahead. We can. Hard line. Just, just half. Tight half. Well then. Top 12. Tight. We gotta sit. Just past the yellow. Just gotta sit. It's good. It's good. Is it? Yeah, yeah, no, no, that's in I good spot. I think so. I, 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 I think, think so. It, it's not a lot of room to get this onto it. We make, we peel the back one, you gotta make some sort of double peel. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Interesting. Just to open up and unlock those stones, huh? Get rid of the back. Yeah, end. I guess and then they're they're, they're being patient because then Mike's got to make a double peel. Then John's got to leave him something. And Good. that unlocks yeah, that. that and those are your first two stones out of play. Shot. Shot. <laughs> this is getting. Yeah. 
plant it. Doesn't change much though. No. Where do we just guard, you think? Guard what? Guard the double runner? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that's the call. I don't mind that. Yeah, I think that's the call. I do too. Nowhere good to go in the house here. That's the only shot for Mike. Is that? There's nowhere good in the house, really. So no, if you I guard agree. that, he's, a quarter of that which he's got to make yeah, like a yeah. double or triple, yeah. clean it out to have a chance with his next one. No. That's why that red uh, come around in out turn freeze was so valuable. And when you're playing guards like this, are you wanting it in front of the run back or Hi. in between? Hi. Well, the, I, both would work, but in between is too tough. Uh, just line's anywhere good. over the he's hog line here on the center over. line. Okay. Line's great. They're trying for Looks the center like line here. Right. Line's great. It's just short of your broom. Okay, go ahead, Pat. Go ahead, Pat. Go ahead. Got to keep going, buddy. Got to go. Go, Gotta Patty, go. 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 And to the center yeah. line they get. Just, I think. Running this in, even get get my shooter to here. So exactly. now Mike's got to go gotta red, noise. yellow, red onto yellow, the yellows. And then yeah. Good things happen. I'll have a couple of angles. Yeah. You want this out? Yeah. Out, and I'm just trying to hit a little high, right? Yeah. Any noise will give you something, I think. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's. Uh... Yeah. Just make so, some noise. So red, yellow, yeah. yellow on the red, red on the yellow, yellow on the red. So what are you trying to hit? Yeah. Well, this is a. I know they've just beaten the team from a Bridgewater, but Juju picks up the win, eight four. Number one takes out number sixteen. This is a bit of a like a, a home game for uh, Juju because there's a lot of support for him, Kathy. Oh, there is a very much. There's flags in the building, waving. It feels very much like a briar. Good, oh, good. Out of boy, Mike. Okay. That Great. center line's open now, though. Good, I think. Saw it, man. You got really unlucky. It didn't tick that other red. I know. I can't believe it missed that. Nice shot. He hit it right where they wanted. But watch this yellow onto the red. Just misses the red. If he'd moved that red out of the way, that would have helped too. But great shot. Timeout being called by uh, Happing. That's number two. So Guju becomes the seventh team in the Elite Eight. And he's waiting to see who he will play. Either John Epping or Mike McEwen. Caleb Flaxy. Interesting that uh, Flaxy, well, who was the, right, the coach with uh, all uh, Jacobs over. all those years, uh, is now with EJ. So we got to guard the yellow. Arnon right? at second yeah. has now that's come over as coach one. as well. Am I right? I think so. Yeah. Same shot. Same shot I just threw, right? Oh, yeah. I agree. So that long yellow in the left effect just barely in our picture. I think it's possible for Mike McEwen to run that in, hit the right side of the yellow in the forefoot. Good things could happen, but that's crazy tough. So he's just going to take away the center line yellow, which is slightly easier. Half. Same spot. Okay, line's good. Fair Maybe deeper. A little deeper. Again. We're half tight. Play the bump then. Whoa. We can, we can probably bump. Yep. Whoa. He ain't bumping. Better not line oh, these up because it's too close no, together. No. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Yep. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Good shot. That's good. Sorry, Johnny. That's not where he wanted that, but it worked. 
That's good, John. We're just praying. Oh, it's it's nice. move. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Well, very similar to a shot that Mike made in the Briar and Brandon. It was just over the hog line. It was an angle in like this. And when the dust cleared, it was a pile for Mike, as it would be here. They almost rolled that red accidentally into the path of this potential shot. Thin two thirds. He wants to hit it on the center line, Vic. Probably a thin two thirds. Yeah, I got it right at Hewen leading or is the shot rock at the moment. Five. And in this one, you've got eight. Epping against nine. McEwen, so will it be one through eight advancing? As we play here in the ninth, final stone. McEwen, will the combination? Work for Mike as he just drops the brush and watch out. Oh, oh, oh look out. Oh, it's late. And he gets a single. I think we gave you one. <laughs> I no, think he maybe did. did. You know what? Have a look. Excuse me, Mr. Cam. Really close. Have a look. That's a measure. Is that? I think that's a measure. That's a measure. I am still saying it's yellow. But John, John Epping doesn't he doesn't Close. care he wouldn't mind having McEwen score the single mm -hmm. I, think, I think it might be us I think it might be I just want to see her try <laughs> <laughs> there you go it's all up to this poor umpire now that has to do this I think it's you I think it's us yeah Oh, that's interesting. How do you do this? Look at oh, this. Right. I thought you'd do it good, buddy. Yes. Can you measure that one? Oh, yeah. Measurable. All right. Ewan's hoping for a tie, Vic, which is, happens once every blue moon. So from Epping to McEwen. I think it's yellow. Now they'll try to probably go one more time. Looks like it's yellow. Check her again. I wasn't looking that closely. Blank? <laughs> no, we ain't blanking. Exactly. Blanket score three, win the draw of the button. No blank. <laughs> Definitely you. Come on, blank. Come on, blank. Tight. <laughs> it's on you to call the blank. Tighten it up a little more. All right. See where it is. Midway Just between the, the numbers. Midway oh. between the numbers. Here we go. What do we got? Oh, my goodness. That's close. Blank, baby. Blank. Oh, there. I like the laser. Blank three, draw to the buck. We both missed the rings. <laughs> if, if, if I'm epping, if I'm Vic, I see to be queuing at yours. Oh, yeah. He won't accept it, but. Mm -hmm. Because a blank keeps uh, McEwen alive. Score three, and you're drawn to the button for the whole enchilada. Wow. <laughs> so now it's Michelle Gower who's coming out, and she is the uh, she is the chief umpire. So she'll do it one more time. Let this ice sit for about 20 minutes. Usually when it's tied, you just tighten it a little more, mm -hmm. a little more tension, and that might, might give you a little bit different answer. Yep. Yeah. All right, so from McEwen. Oh, 
seriously, that that is as close as it gets. <laughs> Tighten it up a little more. It's okay to call a play. It's in the rules. Blank. <laughs> There must be. You almost need like a digital, uh, digital so mate measure to even decipher, right? Yeah. So two ties and one winner. You gotta do it again. So that was right to the bottom mm -hmm. of the clock, Vicky. Eh? Mm -hmm. just, just shy of 5.1. <laughs> it is. <laughs> My Great goodness. Job, Mikey. <laughs> you don't see that very often. No, you don't. Do not. The world's best blank for Mike McEwen. <laughs> wow. Ty goes. To the runner, <laughs> tie goes to both. So a blank on the board after that measure. Two and three times they kept tightening the uh, measuring stick results in a blank. And so it's remained 7-4 Epping as we go to uh, 10. Brad Guju leaving the ice after his win. 19, Brandon, Breyer, Guju against Scott McDonald. That was the last time we can remember a uh, tie and a blank in a measurement. And so Scott McDonald, interestingly enough, he was Guju against McDonald. Two members of that McDonald team are on the ice here in Scott Chadwick, throwing the lead stones for Epping. And of course, Jonathan Butte throwing second stones for McEwen. <laughs> so uh, they are involved in uh, the second that uh, I can remember. And you said in your what, how many years? 75 years? <laughs> uh, <laughs> at least that I've grown. Maybe, maybe three times. Yeah. And usually it was Why because you're at the club and the measure didn't work properly. Well, yeah, and it, that's unbelievable with the, uh, the uh, accuracy it's of those better. type of measures to have it's that happen. Curl, but think of what's happened here, Vic. Epping's three up. Mm -hmm. I don't think they threw a takeout, mm -hmm. which is pretty scary. And watched McEwen throw an angle raise for a potential four, maybe even five, to win the game. Then McEwen, if McEwen actually wins that measure, he's two down without hammer. His odds of winning are about 5%. If Epping had won the measure, he's four up, and we don't even play the 10th mm -hmm. end. Here we are. One mistake away from a potential three, and then it's a draw to the button. That's that's incredible. Yep. But uh, no fooling around now. It's a clean up time for Epping. Yep. You go now. Yep. Gotta get around the reds. Yeah, yeah. Same weight? I think so, John. Something similar. It's curling here. Like it's definitely not any faster. Yeah. I got left. Let me see. Give it a little. Left. Lay down on it. Yep. Light's gonna be good. It's not hard enough. You gotta go. Yeah, you just gotta, gotta go. go. It's light. Hard! Keep going. Hard! Lang and fry. Perfect line. Don't do that. And crashing yeah. on that stone just okay. center line top hey, 12. 7-4, Epping leads it in a game that uh, both teams are pretty equal, but uh, Epping got off to that very, very quick start and has really massaged that all the way through. And it looks to be the eighth seed to get in. We've already seen one through seven make it into the elite eight. The game story brought to you by Tim Hortons, the official coffee of Curling Canada. By killing this yellow one, you'd like to move the reds around so there's no nothing staggered, but you could get close to the double here. 
No, I didn't try it. But now you've got a pile of stones that are staggered. If you can get around it, does that give uh, McEwen a chance? Oh, definitely. Yeah, let's get it in there. A little slower. Uh... Okay. Line should be okay. Line's good. Line's good. Yep, gotta go, Johnny. Line's good. Wait's good. T line. Curl. Easy, easy. Curl. Brett, curl. Curl. Right here. Right here. Right here. Yep, curl. 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 Oh, Shot. Very nice. And around they go. Deep Good. they go. Back edge of the four. It's all right. It's a little scary, what but you I think it's a freeze. No. That draw? Okay. I think so. <laughs> yep. So again, we have 14, two on do that you what are we calling is here, this please? the best way to defend, or do you get rid of those like staggers? Good, eh? Ford, Ford, I'll Ford, tell you in a minute, Vic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I Pretty think uh, now, those reds are very problematic for John. He's ignoring them, so this 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 is a bit of a gamble. What do you think, Kathy? I'd be hitting. Even if you do, you're not going to get rid of all of them, but you move them around, mm -hmm. you're going to give yourself oh, access can. to run something back. Easy. Right now, the way they're grouped, it's like a Why whole bunch of guards off. just waiting for Mike McEwen to Take use. Those. Yep. Wait's good. Always pack. If this, if this is made, though, I'm with you, Cap. But if this is made, it's ahead, uh, it's probably oh, a game winner. Well, it's got to get over too. If, if. and. Just lays off the you... corner. Shot rock. Almost the same shot. Yeah. Are you trying to move it or not? I think it wouldn't hurt to lie too by sure. just moving it or like a, yeah. a rock. Yep. Yeah. It's another two feet. The disadvantage for McEwen is he can't raise any of those reds. So they're the wrong color and they're not lined up. So. They've got to do their work on this outturn yep. side only. Line oh, only. Whoa! Whoa! Line only. Wait, close. Back yeah. in. Yeah! Line! Dig Johnny. Hard! Dig Johnny. Hard! Dig Johnny. Dig Johnny. John Hard! Hard! Come on. Whoa! 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 Brent Lang. Go! Whoa! 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 Go! 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 Move it back uh, and roll it over on nice. top. What a great shot. Brian Fry. <laughs> That's really good. Shots, Fry. That's the intensity I'd like to see out of this team. Hard! Hard! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, how good was that, Vic? Go, 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 go! Just to push it absolute. back and then yeah. the flip as well. Yeah, which it was partly buried. Nice call, too. Going over here, too. Yeah. I think this way it's really going back, but. You think it plants? Yeah, I do. Oh, I think this okay. one is high, like it's high. To make that. Well, it's thin. Yeah, you're just dead nutting that. Okay, do it. You like that? Yeah. You're trying to hit what? A quarter? I think you're wanting to plant it on the nose, but. Play it on the nose then? Yeah. Okay. You like it? What are you throwing for speed out there? Like 14 flat? And hopefully he gets it there. He can, he can make it two ways. He can hit this dead on, redirect off the side one, and maybe yep. make it anyways. Hard Skip Stones yes. stepping yes. in Whoa. his purse. Jansen trying to open some things up. Oh, that look one. at that! And he gets rid of them both, oh, oh, oh. runs it back, Six. and kills a couple of McEwen Stones. Made it better than I drew it up. Just absolutely, he had it lined up. See, we just set up that shot. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's true. A eh? uh, Team McEwen made the world's best shot to make John's easier. Great throw. Great, great throw. Sometimes it's the way it goes, Vic. Eh? Like uh, Fry made two perfect shots and probably ended up in the worst spot he could have. Just the hole. This is going to line up right on it anyways. Clock's still going, eh? Yeah, we know. Kip. Okay. I think okay. I gotta make this. Kip. Nice shot, John. I'm gonna make that top first. 
How do you like that? I, I, that's the one thing about this game I love. There's Fry no. turning around to his former first. skip, of course, and saying, so nice shot, score, John. Then we're going to be behind it. And he yeah, just and then I've got maybe killed our chances of advancing, but nice push. shot. Broom, beside you. Okay. Well, if I go through the hole, that, that double red Play lines this. up on it, right? Yeah. yeah. Time to a minute. Let's take this. Yeah. So I think we just got to make this top. Yep. A little heavier here, Mikey. Okay. A little okay. hard. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Yeah. Needs hard. three. Hard. Whoa. Hard. Crew. Got it by. Yes. Oh, now, wait, where wait. are you going? Tap it and sit. Tap it and sit. That, Tap it and sit. And away yeah. it goes. I think that's good, boys. Yeah, I think uh, Sorry, all of a sudden feet. there's no Sorry. chance for three. No. I think that's good. Yeah. There it is, and the hands come out, and that'll be it. And John Epping, the eighth seed, will advance to complete the field of the Elite Eight. Hey, Brady. Hey, Mike. Make the final 7-4. Epping is your winner. And so no upsets on this second night as former teammates shake hands. And so Guju will now play Epping. We have Carruthers against Cooey, Howard against Dunstone, and Colton Flash will get Brendan Botcher. Those are your best eight, and they are the elite eight here at the Points Bet Invitational. John Epping survives a scare. He moves on. The 2022 Points Bet Invitational is brought to you in part by Points Bet, proud partner of Curling Canada, by New Holland, proud sponsor of Curling Canada, by Kruger Products, the softest and strongest supporters for over 40 years, and by Home Hardware. Here's how. Time for some autographs after a big win by John Epping over Mike McEwen to advance to the Elite Eight. So they won't be back on the ice till tomorrow afternoon local time and uh, those of the women remaining. They're coming out onto the ice here at the Willie O'Ree to practice tonight including three time defending Canadian champion. Carrie Anderson, who will be on the ice against Kelsey Rock. Penny Barker coming off that big win will face the number two seed, Caitlin Laws. Christy Moore skipping the Scheidegger team out of Lethbridge will go against Rachel Holman. And Jennifer Jones will play Selena Sturme. They are your eight remaining teams. And a reminder that a win in the Elite Eight will be worth at least six thousand dollars per team so here we go we're down to the final eight on both men's and women's sides and we'll be with you twice tomorrow just make a note we'll be with you at 10 a.m eastern time as we continue with the points but invitational from fredericton